everybody welcome to sonata for the blue oh uh, fuck i have the stream ah. <laughs> welcome to the sonata for blue Gla glass moon number one vivi help me on this intro <laughs> i'll do my best playing. what's up jg yeah i heard that through your mic <laughs> oh my god all right well welcome everybody i'm proud to be here i have vivi with me another true legend of the scene uh thank you i don't know if i deserve the title but i'll take it i mean Let's get everyone on. how many how many tournaments you have you run like come on you're a legend okay fine fine yeah uh so... yes say this is all being organized in here yeah, so this is a pretty big tournament, and it's, you know, a few days right before a climax of night, so you get your last-minute preparations in. There's definitely some nerds up in this tournament. I yeah, see there's a couple nerds. Top. But overall, like, pretty strong bracket. Even from, like, round one, there's going to be some good matches. Yeah, for sure. I see some stuff round one that I'm like, damn, like, Xiaowei Gaku... Right, Red Dalek, yeah. Wise Apples already. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really nice to see the community grow so much, right? So it's like, even our like newer-ish players are still pretty damn good, I would say. It's still like, put on a show. Yeah, it's definitely the strongest I've seen the community be since I've joined it. Like, by a lot. Yeah. So it's really impressive. So shout outs to all of you out there who've been playing the game. You're doing great. You know, just don't dodge them air dash shield at me, please. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what you're talking about. about anything. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, like I'll be, I'll be honest. Like the community has gotten so much better in terms of those kinds of things too. Like they don't just like instantly kill themselves anymore, which is like, oh shit, like this is amazing. Like so, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm this scene, so there, there used to be some problems at, at, at lower levels, I don't lie. Oh my god, I mean, 2019 Melty Blood, or whenever I started in like late 2018, it was, was kind of messy, and there was like, you know, not a lot of people helping others and whatever, it was mostly like, people just memeing all the time. So, nowadays, if you like, ask any question, there's like a lot of helpful people, you know, the community overall is just way better and there's more guides the wiki has been completely revamped etc etc and now we're coming to fruition we have our tournament today leading into climax for this weekend pretty cool like Do climax any... looking pretty pretty damn good too I, I would say like even if it might be a little less stacked than like the very top than last year i feel like yeah. everything out like the depth of the of like the skill we get like it goes pretty deep into into pools even yeah i think like there's gonna be like good players who lose in like top 32 like <laughs> you know like it's definitely very deep and some of the yeah, pools sure. that, from looking at it it was like damn like there's you know i think it's three out in pools but yeah regardless it's still like you know you can lose you can definitely lose and multi blood's not a game where it's you know things are guaranteed like you can just get owned in the first two you you can't just get owned <laughs> get so, matched against some characters early on you're like yeah if I, I don't know this player i don't know their habits i might be fucked <laughs> yeah or you know you, you just get hit by Sotsky or something you know and that just could be the end but yeah like yep. do we have uh, any matches ready to go or, like are we are we good uh oh we got ip posted from red so i will um so we'll just be watching Manabe. Is that the case? Uh, I mean, I'm fine with uh, syncing up the matches myself. All right, they're in. So it, either way, it. either way, you're comfortable <laughs> with it. Yeah, just you know how it is when you're trying to commentate. Like you know, sometimes you connect the cast, sometimes your caster explodes. Yeah, so it's nice to have that to have that backup for sure. Right. So uh, thank you, Discord, for letting me do nothing. I I do I'll do it because I like audio, but like before you just start whenever you're ready, Monabe. Yeah, I mean Monabe, can you uh make that a little bigger on on your Discord stream if possible? 
<laughs> I cannot. Sorry. You, you actually? Yeah, because I think I think she's just streaming uh like her entire screen. Okay. All and right. It might mess so then... with the, like OBS if Melty gets resized. Okay. So then but I actually, will be I... connecting to the next <laughs> the next game. Actually, I can I can like have a stream set up like that. Give me a second. For, well, I mean, for the next one. I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I'm good. We can start. All right, so we got Red on the left and Dalek on the right. Can you tell me a little bit about these players? Am I here? Okay. All right, it looks like we're going in. Vivi, are you here? I am in. Okay. Uh, the Dalek has a West, like West Coast player from Cali who's been like kind of up and coming for two years at this point. Doesn't play the game super actively, but has pretty mean chi on pressure. Red, I've heard about the Aflara. I've heard some people are pretty scared of this player, especially like uh, scary you know, three A and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like people who aren't tree adult man are very scared of red. But so far Dalek seems to be doing pretty damn good. Yeah, really holding the corner position well. Had like really nice confirm earlier on like a little stray hit into the whip and that is going to be a perfect. So we're seeing red is not is just pretty content with guarding. We haven't seen any shield. We know like FR has the meme shield. That was a really, really nice jump B from Scion and an incredible conversion. Oh, and we get the tech trap too. Yeah, that was a ton of damage. Of course, Wara in his first half of health takes a bunch. But that, that was still like one interaction and like two thirds of your health gone because of that tech trap. Yeah, and with F Wara, he doesn't have heat on command, so it's a little harder for but him. But he does have this, as you said. Yeah, immediate side swap, but yeah. I I mean, that was a really good DP. Because you were just dominating round one, dominating round two, and you just didn't allow Red to get started whatsoever. It's like, yeah, it's a really good DP because, like, what. Worst case scenario, you still have the life lead. Yeah, I mean you're the and, and you really, you really just want to get the hit when you're that like that more, more down that much. So yeah, so Dolly again, another great air to air to start the round and just keeping Red in the corner until this point. We're gonna see if Red can finally get something started. All right, this Except is for, it. Yeah, uh, I we didn't get to confirm the mix-ups. Oh, we're on the other side this time. What do we got for this knockdown? Spinner Ender. What do we got? We could just IH the Drill. Yeah, it's bunkered out of it. Oh no, but all right. Uh, oh, I, I think that was a. It's got to be a four to one Seamus since we're going for like the, the like really high damaging route. All right, we got heat. Is that an air throw attempt? Red. I, that looked like an air throw attempt. All right, red. Red water. So, uh, I wonder if this is bracket nerves or something. I don't know. Earlier, Red, instead of using air movement, did a falling shield, and now we're going for golden air throws. You got Wara buttons, you know? Just do jump back B or something. You got Wara buttons, the single hit JB for air counter hits. <laughs> yeah. But here we go. That, that's we got, nasty. This time we're showing a little respect. Probably afraid of the dragon punch. Just 5B anti air. Interesting. Okay. All right, this is the last chance for Dalek. We still have a lot of things on the table. Heat. We just walk forward and smashes. Him. Respectable. I, if you're gonna die, go out swinging, and it worked out. All right, nice, nice warning shot. Just making sure Wired doesn't move. Yes, you could block that. Can we punish? Sometimes that punishing that move is very, very really. Annoying. Yeah, it's know. really unintuitive too. Yeah, because he just like he's not there on the screen. Wow, throw attack, but we get hit. Wara does like, have like when, when I saw that that was minus ten, I was like, eh, "There's no way that's minus ten for real." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and, and the other thing with that super is sometimes if you if if it's not blocked in the corner, he just appears like halfway across a screen, and you're like, "All right, and, like what do I do?" Right. It really <laughs> sucks letting him get away with that super, honestly. So you know, if you're going to be facing Fwara, maybe you're going to climax some night, and there's Fwara. Probably should training mode. Zipoke. that. <laughs> yeah, Zapoke is definitely going, and Zapoke will do DP into Super. 
And that he is will do things, DP right? into two two C. He will do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. So the DP into the EX DP, there's like a gap, right? So like you can like five A after the DP, and then if he does the super, you should be able to recover and guard the super. Uh, that's like one base thing to know, but you still got to know how to punish it. Right. Yeah. But yeah, overall, that was really excellent from Dalek. I I haven't personally seen Dalek much, and but I was very very impressed. Like a lot of excellent air to airs and solid pressure. Yeah, they've been mostly playing in snail them. I don't think they enter much of anything else. They sometimes entered Triadal and stuff like that, but I don't think they've entered any other event like an Archie again or something. But yeah, like whoever is working with Dalek, definitely doing a great job. Like this, that was really great. So, are we going to do another round one match, or are we just going to go? Uh, I unless there's well, if Gaku show I was starting about now, we could do that if you're good with that, Nanabe. Otherwise, I yeah, yeah, we could do that. Of course, shout out to Manabe running the stream. Another hero of Melty Blood, hero of the FGC. Been there for God knows how long. <laughs> um. All right. Where do I find the the players? The IPs for the stream matches? Uh, it should be in Event Talk. Okay, they're in. It's the message I replied to. Okay. Gaku's IP. And they're in. Show is uh, player one and Gaku is player two. Or hold on. Yes, did Gaku you, is player two. Did you all see that they released the the World Ends with You sequel on Steam today? I did. I I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, it just came out out of nowhere with like no advertise. Let me lower my game sound. Excuse me. Okay. But yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I, I remember that game was cool on the DS like 15 years ago. I don't know if anyone out there has played it. This new one. Oh, I, the, I, know, I know one person who's played it and talks about it uh, very often. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, Nick did uh, end up making it to that tonight. She was registered, but was not failing it. So we won't be seeing the Sea White Line tonight. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I got to play Nick recently. It was like really, really fun games. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have Gaku. How do we say this name? Show. Uh, I think it's Shoaib. Is how Sho the he has come through and said it's Shoaib. Shoaib. Yes. So we're gonna make it like, you know, Show and Abe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Shoaib. I, but I've heard I've heard a lot. I've heard Shoaib, I've heard Shoab, I've heard Schwab. I've heard Schwab. a lot of Schwab. Yeah, Schwab. It's not Schwab. <laughs> it's, it's Schwab. It's if not you Schwab. Lose. Nah, if you lose, it's Schwab forever. All right. So we're getting into it. Gaku <laughs> is going with the uh, Crescent yes. CL. All right. We won't yeah. be seeing the Alco for this matchup. Yeah. I can under definitely understand why. Yeah, you can probably hyro stuff. Like rings. I am not even. That's like. The, the Aoko matchup, like, it, even if it's not bad for Aoko, it's still really annoying to play around a lot of work, what the things can work can do. Rings yeah, tough definitely. orbs so easily. Yeah, Seal can also, like, dash under stuff pretty really well. Like, you gotta be careful, though, because you can still get clipped when you're trying to dash under uh, A ring. Mm -hmm. That's a big hit. Gaku may be uh, oh. hovering too much in there. Yeah, I can definitely Dead. see that. And that's going to be a pretty clean round to start it off. Yeah, I think Gaku just needs to slow down, chill out a little bit. You know, first match, we're pressing buttons, but I think we could just chill a little. Another big hit. A lot of damage. Well, relative, but... No, we're gonna block that! Oh no, we're too laying! Alright, take this corner down. But now Arc... Oh, now we're down to zero meter, but the, the reversal is working out, but again, the, the lack of meter is going to hurt our offense. Gotta be careful, no tech. And, oh, just the stare down and... Yeah. Gonna press the button just a little too late for Gaku, and that's going to be game one. 
sing the oh, switch already. Yeah, it's gonna be Hime Hime or Aoko. I mean, if you want to, if you want to really win, you go with Hime, right? <laughs> but I think Cielo. Yeah, but if you want, yeah. but at the same time, if you want to really win, you go with your main. <laughs> you yeah. know, you know the yeah. thing you you're most used to. Mm -hmm. So Gaku more. And speaking of being I used think. to, Gaku looks right at home right now. Yeah, because if you just chill, like you know, you put if you get out a held orb or two held orbs, the rings are ineffective pretty much. Yeah, what's she gonna do to get in? Yeah, so you just shoot lasers, like, all right, cool, have fun, and then you jump and you kill yourself. So now the the tides have already turned. Let's see how our friend Shoa blah, show show <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I, I went with the ob that time, but all right. Alright, yeah, Gaku's just like, laming it out in this corner, doing literally nothing. Alright, pushing, switch, swapping sides. Yeah, descending rain's looking really nice too. Alright, we're gonna be here for a while, so get yourselves a drink, a snack, because this match is going on for a while, but we are clearing that rain. Alright, now we're finally in, but Gaku running away, but gets run down. All right, we're playing this game from this corner now. Ah, uh, we popped the orb, but it just... Ah, uh, that could definitely have given Shoei the life lead, but... Oh, this should be it. Gonna be pretty hard yet. Yeah, or maybe even impossible without a heat. We do yeah. get the heat, though. Arc drive. Ah, uh, you could probably arc drive the, the meter charge. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because that's so much recovery. Yeah, I spend the meter too late for that to have any effect, and that's just wasted meter. All right, We're all that charge play. went nowhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, I've been just wake been up talking, mash again. I was talking with Gaku about being able to snipe things with arc drive when you're in have heater max, but I'm not sure if Gaku is aware of the possibility of sniping the charge. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is very different from round one. Gaku was trying to lame it out. Now you're wheel kicking forward at her? Gotta be careful. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna loop. Probably need to tech, honestly. Yeah. 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 Have to gamble. Had to take the bat at some point. Yeah, and on that uh, tech trap that Gaku does, uh, Gaku always gets on me for mentioning this, but the delayed back tech against that, like, double. 63A tech trap, the delayed back tech can be safe. Delayed? Yeah, like you slightly delay the back tech and you should be able to guard. But it's apparently it's like character specific, but it works on my character, so. <laughs> Try it out, kids. Try it out. Works enough. Because like the, the trap that works against all the characters is the Jeffrey Manson one, the ultimate kick-ass video that he has shot on YouTube. That one <laughs> is like guaranteed to always work. But Gaku likes this tech trap because, you know, you get a little more damage. Yeah, I can understand. Oh, 5A. That 5A is kind of crazy. But it doesn't get a conversion, so Gaku is right back in there. So yeah, here it is. So you see like, look at that damage. That's like pretty significant. So if your opponent doesn't know, you might as well do it, right? Yep. All right, let's go. Uh, we dropped the nerd combo, but wake up shield blown up. So yeah, the tides really did turn, right? Definitely. Yeah, maybe you can, can definitely see that like more comfort from Gaku and at the same time way less in the matchup from Shoei. Yeah, Shoei. Well, until, until the start of this round, at least. Will Shoaib turn into Schwab? <laughs> <laughs> well, I that that was a really weird riff in the middle of Shoaib's pressure, though. And <laughs> we're getting even game. All right, just backing off. You can just chill. You can really just chill at this point. Uh, you can't just chill at this point. Oh, good ex shield. Nice movement too. But that's a dangerous position. But gets lucky. All right. Yeah, set the orbs. Go on an elder orb in there, which is definitely good enough to yeah. stay safe. You just gotta be careful to not accidentally fly into a ring or something. But right now, it's looking pretty done. Like 30 seconds, you could lame it out the whole time. Yeah, but we're gonna just gamble with the meter.
Gaku yeah, is way too high up for that to work, so yep. Or Schwaben and losers. You gotta you gotta re earn your name. <laughs> 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 oh god, okay. Show show Abe. We'll see you in the loser side. He's like a relatively new player, but this is pretty good. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Yeah, for Anya, he is definitely. Especially Warwick, not the easiest character to play, even F. Like yeah. she's simple, but making her work is something else entirely. Yeah, I find her offense to be really difficult to succeed with. Like she does have access to a plus special move, but her normals, like especially her A, her two A is so short. Like she has, it really like, is. She has decent stagger windows, but like sort of not really. Like I wish she could stagger a little better, because then she could loop the two three six A better, which is her plus attack. But yeah, like I don't know. She does big damage. She does lame it out a bit. You know what would be really cool for F Mark if she had the teleport, air teleport. Yeah. I know I I have heard a lot of complaints from Alma that that the other works, like that aren't C Mark, don't have that. Because it's yeah. like so crucial to like give her a chance of actually landing a lot of the time. Right. And it's also, you know, it's very fun to play around with. It's definitely very fun. Movement options always are. Yeah, we want more rather than less. We are multi blood players. But yeah, I still think Fwark is really cool though. I'm not I'm not trying to like tear her down. I like that character. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. So are she, we have our she has next... like really well, all the works really have cool combos. The fucking regions that go on forever. Yeah, the H Wark is actually really cool too. So do we have our next uh stream match? Uh, well, it seems Hina isn't here, so we will be having the DQ and yep. I'm actually low key scared of H Wark. I gotta say. Honest, she's a counter character where, well, you still need to know how to fire, of course, but depending on the matchup, it's gonna, it like, looks like a completely different beast. Yeah. The thing is, when I play my character, right, like all my best moves are like, you know, flicker, keys, and ground buttons, right? But she just throws fireballs, and I'm like, oh, I, I can't do anything against her fireball. So it forces me to jump, and then I'm like, oh no, why am I? in the air and I don't have all my best moves anymore. That's why like I personally And then and then like she that. can like rising JB at you and shit like that. Right. So I think that that matchup is pretty scary for my character. Like I I mean, you know, Melty Blood usually we're like doing all kinds of weird movement and whatever. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Maybe I could just dance with her instead of trying to play my normal game plan. But either way, did we ever get a match? Yeah, we'll be getting Moss versus Master Icarus. Oh, interesting. So this is a run back from multiple times before. Yeah. Yeah, I I remember this being uh, go ahead. <laughs> all right, I'll I'll do it. All right. I played this matchup before with Luther. Like Luther is playing Fauco. I do kind of think this can be a little difficult for Hime. Like I think Hime has the capability to fight the fireball, yes. But when you're thinking about fighting the fireball, it opens up her just double air dashing at you. So your yep. your anti-air game is gets a little nerfed because the fireball just exists. And even dealing with the fireball isn't that simple because it, it forces you to just deal with it specifically because the amount of things that she can do yes. that aren't right. that... That she gets to do specifically because he may can't just get past it while dashing yeah. or crouching. Yeah, she's crazy. forced to hold like, it. The other thing is, even if you in mid range, you can shield it. Sure, if you guys, uh, uh, if you guys are after, Alco actually can guard. Yeah, uh, uh, but if she can also like charge the fireball and then shielding it just gets you thrown. <laughs> right. 
So like, yeah, like you can you can ex pillar it, but that's mostly from like full screen. So I don't yep. think that's gonna come up as much because we're gonna generally playing like more mid range. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go, Moss. Moss actually moved away from New York a few months ago, so I haven't seen Moss in a while. Yeah, I moved back home to Cali. Let's see how Cali has been treating young Moss. Oh, and you're gonna get jump C to the face. Oh, right, we missed the 2C, I think. Or was it... I think that was supposed to be the, like, fancy 4C route, but right. didn't get it. Uh, we just DP these setups, though. Interesting. Guard break? Yeah, I tried to escape with the air dash, but the guys are somehow still hit from downtown. And there was shield DP. That, that upper hitbox hits so close to Hime. Ah, shield anti-air into walk back. Yeah, so Hime... She's plus on her shield counter, but her buttons are slow, so a lot of times just walking away is still the best option. For once, she's not the one walking away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go Icarus in there with the round start jump A. Blue okay, fire, we we get the it. MT low, but we don't get a confirm on it, and that's gonna give Moss up no max, actually. Yeah, that's fine, too. But that's not fine. Just holding shield before even anything came out. Oh no, last guess. Pretty rough yeah, situation. I think that was J2A. Pretty hard to see through that. Yeah, there we go, the mid range game. But yeah, after the fire, like, you still have to respect Hime. It's Hime, she's the princess. Hmm. Yeah, that. She acts like way more than a princess, I don't know why. <laughs> Wow, falling jump guess, D, Yeah, walk, combo gets messed up by the orb, but I guess it works out for him. Yeah, I feel like once Moss whiff. Oh my god. I, all right. Yeah, all I guess right, he didn't back. convert on that because he was scared of burst, but this might turn around on him. All right, let's see if Moss can run this back. I mean, all Icarus really needs is like a. All right, just fuck it, just take your turn completely. All right, let's go to the corner. This is basic pressure here. Oh, just defensive grab. Throws outside the corner? Like, oh, the big guys are whiffed too. Oof. Yeah, so what I'm seeing from Moss is like, Moss will go for an anti-air and then go for like a geyser after or like a grounded normal again. But Alco has two air dashes, so you have to be ready. I would buffer DP personally. Like once you whiff your first button, just expect her to like dodge it and kill you. Right, yeah, that makes sense. A 3C, but not ready for it to hit. Yo, tech buttons with Hime. Let's go into the, the Ada Basilisk. Take, that takes some guts. <laughs> Can't lie. <laughs> That's no fear. All right, got the down. Okay, float Ooh. mix. No, that swifts completely. <laughs> yeah, we mixed ourselves. Icarus press okay, on the Moss special. Right. Right, yeah. Again? again, just going for Geyser. You had a... You, had you got a blue fire mix you. again? Nope. That's not a reversal. I'm not sure. I think Icarus <laughs> plus, plus a really late 5A there. Oh man, scramble. Alright, good position. A lot of meter too. Do exactly that. Yep. Gotta be cognizant of the strings Icarus is using. If Icarus is doing like a true block string like that, you use Mash Bunker just before the blue fire even comes out. Nice walk under. Yep. That's the right response to Blue Fire, especially uh, the setup Icarus goes for a lot of the time isn't even gapless and can be DP'd. Uh, because if you use it 2 2, it's not gapless. You have to do 6 2 4 into Blue Fire for it to oh, be yeah, a real right. block string. Alright, we got double pillars. Just gets hit by the stagger. Maybe you're trying to EX block. That maybe. It's hard to know with Moss sometimes. Might have been jump, might have been match. Oh, nice dash under, but maybe a dash under 5B? Oof, two seeing. Walking away, a geyser again, interesting. You gotta be careful with those geysers, remember Icarus did double air dash. Well, gotta be careful with those pillars, that... Yeah. A lot of things to be careful with, apparently, though. <laughs> yeah, you gotta whip shield, yes. too. I messed up the orbo key, but it doesn't matter. And a whip shield. Whip shield. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, Moss. So Moss out here. 
I mean, you live Boss. longer if you don't gamble that often. But yes, sometimes you but feel they die faster, know. too, if you do that. <laughs> Trying to help our bracket run faster. So nice of you. Alright, but Icarus well, doesn't... Well, it would have been gone faster if you just 2 0 so, you know, who knows. <laughs> Yeah. Icarus you went for this hard bait, but it ended up getting Moss out, and you got Geyser. Alright, now you want to DP when Alko's at the top of the screen? Okay, cool. Oh man, Icarus trying to get the Abare Fireball. Not the worst idea, honestly. Could be a favorable I definitely play. get it. Yeah, these quick air dashes are hard for Hime to contest. Like, you see, like that was such a huge gap there, you could have DP'd. Especially with team ADP, that reaches so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, I'm seeing these air dashes are pretty hard to contest. Like, Hime's buttons are not that fast. Oh, dude. Alright, we're in there. We with Pillar. Yeah, I guess so. If she, <laughs> if she has meter, you're gonna die. It'd be like that. And it's the classic where you don't know which direction to block because you're like right above her or like right under her. Oh That's yeah, if you are in that situation, you have to just press shield, right? You might as well take the meter. Yeah. I mean, you might as well pretty much almost shield that. Uh, always shield, I mean. Uh, I think I'm going to like up back, maybe up back shield. All right, let's go. Yes, that was oh, a good DP. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, pill the pillar is must. There it is, there it is. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> Oh, double air. She's just falling! Okay. Alright. You know, if it works. I haven't I had a lot to say about what happened in those last moments, but I know. Every time. No! Every time. <laughs> shield it! Shield it! Gotta shield that 2 on 4 c Otherwise, Moss is gonna get to keep playing those mini games all the time. Alright, but this is not looking good for Icarus. You have a little bit of meter, but you can't really do much with it. A good run under, you kinda need to reestablish something. Oh, well, ah. that's something. Moss crouch guarding at the last moment. Here it is again, and here it is again, and we don't But we did get a punish! Uh, okay, but we're in there. He may whipping the TC, still able to guard. A little no. huge meter advantage for Icarus, though, and that's, that's that should be it. Yes, okay. The cleaning oh. out. That was definitely a play. Match. Yeah, that was a mad mash. Like usually with Hime, you expect a, uh, you know, a pretty patient neutral. Just pick your spots. Moss be just doing stuff. That's. I love you, Moss. That's what's happening. I love you, Moss, and I miss you. But you be doing stuff. <laughs> All right, we have. There's another yeah, IP already, though. Chest search is nice more often. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Actually, where is nice more often from? Uh, I should should be Northern Cali, I think. Interesting. So isn't Chester... Chester's also from, like, SoCal. So yeah. I wonder how their connection will be. California internet it's usually cursed, though. Yeah, West Coast to West Coast sometimes. <laughs> So Chester is famous for food posting and a little bit of Tono. Ah, uh, Nadia. All right, look, yeah, H Tono. He likes pressing that jump C a lot. Uh, NMO, we've seen quite a bit. All these net play tournaments been pumping that F Reese. F Reese, one of the coolest characters in the game. For, for boomers, I guess. Like, you know, little kids, <laughs> the, little, the little kids don't like her that much, but, you know, we think she's cool. You know, she doesn't have years. those. She doesn't have as many fancy optimizations, so the kids don't like her. <laughs> you know, there's always something. She has a lot of, you know, her hard hitting attacks should be cool, right? Or how about just confirming, like, one hit into super or something? Those are, that's cool to me. How about anti air? Anti airs are cool. Air to air. 
See, those are things that are cool if you like games that play like Street Fighter, but a lot of Melty Blood kids <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> yeah, so where's her left right Okizame? <laughs> oh, no, but you don't get it. She can hop over you after 2 3 6 It's totally the left right. <laughs> I mean, true. You know, we should sell her. We need to sell F Reese better. Be like, you know, look at you do ABC and you can do a left right. And the other thing is she has probably the best palettes out of the whole cast. Go go pick her and scroll through them. You'll see. I, all you kids out there watching, go look at her palettes. She has the best one. She, she really does. All right, so Chester rocking the H-Tone. This is a matchup that probably like almost nobody has seen in their lives. Maybe in- This is a matchup you've only seen if you've watched these two play and there is 100% no exception. Alright, we go to the other side and mash DP. Alright, Chester in there. That slide is pretty long. Quite a trade. And I'm oh, oh, single hit confirmed. He's a special. There you go. <laughs> Alright, does H Tono have any meter management? I'm gonna assume he probably doesn't. Uh, 2 3 6 is zero on block and like can do a funny left right. But... Oh, interesting. Uh, it looked like, he, looked like Chester was trying to. Yeah, unblockable? Under I missed it. Yeah, there's like a gimmick with that that needs like a three minute explanation. Nice hot it. Yeah, like on some characters it's just completely real and like you can't shield it, can't DP it. There's some characters like you need to, there's a specific spacing that beats specific options but isn't actually an unblockable. It's like, right. So, so there's the thing where it's like if they time it a certain way, it's unblockable, or if they time it a different way, it'll catch your jump out, but you could block it. Like, they're, you know, weird. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, we have NMO taking I know Reese is one of those weird characters, like one of those weird cases. I've seen long paragraphs for how it works on her, and I don't remember anything. Alright, let's go ABC. So, H. Tono, once again, was one of the most popular characters actually again. He's now paying for his crimes in current code. Nice ant here. Like, he. Yeah, the like four thing, people that played Actress again are like really sad that he's bad now. <laughs> yeah. The thing in Actress again, there was a lot of guard damage in that game. Like, guard. Oh, wow. 5B ant here. Wow. Unblockable. Or oh, overhead, excuse me. Nice. And we got the jump C to. Look like that was an IADC from Chester. Got yeah, smoked. that looked like it. Got. Yep. Yeah, definitely got smoked by that JC charge. But yeah, if you notice, like, H. Tono's normals, right? They're all, like, moving forward and whatever. And in Actress Again, the guard bar used to be a real issue because it would just go down it so fast. So H. Tono was pretty problematic, just doing, like, basic strings. Yeah, that in, like, a 60 went farther. He had better damage in general because it's, like, the, the rebeat penalty was slower, was lower, so his pressure just led to higher damage in general. And H. Moons were, you know... Way better. Yeah, just overall. With normal meter gain. Ah, but doesn't get the fancy route here that he wanted. Alright, so at least here, you know, Chester takes the round, but for Animo, I'm I'm okay with it. We got H Tono at only 20 bar. Okay. Yeah, we DP from that far. We're not afraid. We DP again. Yeah, so the one key difference between C and H Tono on defense is that <laughs> is DP if, uh, just will always trigger a second hit on hit. Oh, always. Comes and it out. never will on whiff or block. Dude, these so there's no me. mix up to it. If you want to get conversion off of it, you need a counter hit to trade. Like you need to trade specifically. All right, let's get that max blood heat. Yeah, blood um, heat. The nice round for classic. Just slides under the five B low profile. The blood heat's still in play. Can we get a hit? Just yes. Do it. <laughs> oh no! I wonder what would have happened if you just arc drived against his arc drive. Uh, cheeky AAD should be like completely involved. Oh yeah. If you don't block it, like there's basically no recovery on it, so it should have mm. passed through it. Of course, we're gonna ha we have to give props to NMO there at that end of the round. We wake up to a, we don't let them throw KO us. We are mashing, true melty blood. Of course, until it becomes a mix up, and then you know. Oh, that's <laughs> mean starter. Four point three K without spending bar. We're gonna see. 
Yeah, okay, Chester just checks the pressure. Another blood heat. Two rounds in a row. Well, let's see it. Let's see. Let's get that arc drive. Get kind of a last something. arc attempt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, big hit. The shoulder. Chester can pull this back. Ah, uh, messed. Messed up the in round, and we got it. Messed up the confirm again. That's two opportunities to kill that Chester lost. Left, right, just gets thrown. Another drop. Another drop. Another drop. Yeah, that's true. Did, that? Did you see that frame drop too? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes with the Reese, yeah. West like, Coast. When you're, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately with the Reese, sometimes I even notice when I played her, sometimes when you're doing 2A, sometimes you just don't get the 5B to combo. Like, you got to time it well. All right, so that was a pretty wild game, honestly. It was really swingy. There was a lot of, like, craziness going on. Let's see what happens here in our final match. All right, Chester with the advantage. Meter management. A bit of a drop. At least those drops are in pretty safe places for Cheeky. Yeah. Even that trade wasn't bad either. That jump C. I wonder if NMO could play the neutral a little more passive. I feel like Chester is very aggressive. I feel like you can just play like an air-to-air -air game. Yeah, for sure. Chester has always been very aggressive, even with Nania. All right, but Chester is sitting on set point now. Yes. Gotta be careful whiffing we the charge Cs. I would just chill and look for like a jump B, jump back B. Right, I mean, it's, it's still pretty safe with Efreys. Get the landing recovery, he covers so much space. It's hard for Tona to challenge that, even with oh, JC. Yeah, for sure. Oh, another drop from NMO. That's drop city from both sides here. Nice conversion there. Let's just finish this off. Another drop simple. conversion. He just pushed out too far. Chester gets to jump out. Yeah, the only the concern I have with the charge jump C's is like you do it once or twice, but if you keep doing it, they'll like catch your your, your feet after you land, or they have shield, or you know try and DP it or something, yeah. or fly into you as, after you whip it. You know, so it's like you know, I'm you know, I'm nitpicking a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not a foolproof strategy, but right, it, it's go. far safer than sometimes it should be, especially on on F. Of course. Man, a lot of these five Bs are working out as anti airs too. Gotta be careful, Chester's. And gonna it pokes out perfectly at the angle, you know. Tono GC wants to go in at. All right, and this one is last it. hit should do it Throw. for Anima. Well, that not that. <laughs> nice. So we finally we bait that DP. Chester hit like at least like eleven DPs. That's it. Uh, close enough. <laughs> I didn't count. I'll believe you. I mean, you already know. It was definitely <laughs> 11. Ain't nobody gonna count. It's all good. <laughs> It'd be a surprise. All right, it looks like our next match is set already. We have Mavi and Clinzy. Yep, it's Mavi cool. and Clinzy. This match has happened a couple times before. They've played pretty regularly in Snail them. Because they, they usually end up at, at this spot in the seating where they always end up like fourth and fifth seed or something like that. It's always like right at the border. Like like eighth and ninth. Okay. And once again here, they're fourth and fifth seed. <laughs> okay. And just to bring everyone up to speed, we're in winners quarters at this point in the bracket. Yep. All of our matches and winners are caught up to winners quarters. Got still skeleton and Icarus playing their match set right now, I believe. We'll be, of course, having Mavi versus Cleansy. Isaiah's will be facing Nice more often, and then our next stream match after this one should be West versus Marisa. Oh, that one's really good. Oh, that's such like a clash of styles and characters that you don't yep. see that often. For sure. So, I'm trying to get into this match. I don't think they're connected. Uh, they oh, just they're gone in. in. They're in. Okay. Yeah, so from the HP Silent perspective, I would imagine H Hime can be very difficult. But if you can somehow close in on a whiff, you know, maybe you can play. Yeah, for sure. That's that's kind of the gist of how you end up playing yeah. against Hime. The hard part As of fighting her, 
Yeah, but the hard part is like making Hime whiff is very difficult because her, her special move, the wind, you know, the two and four is so massive that if you're standing outside of range, you get locked in proximity guard. And then you have to and block if you're in the it. air, sometimes you, some of the hits are just unblockable and just massive. Right. So it's getting like, around it from the airs. So it's like, you know, being harder. in the ground is bad. Being in the air is bad. And it's like, you know, yep. it's bad. It's bad. This character is crazy. No, you, usually, you know, when there's a really big button you need to get around, you know, you just dash jump. You get that dash momentum, then once they whiff, you can air dash in, get that, you know, get that punish. <laughs> but it's really hard to do that against yeah. HG May. For all the characters I've played, I found Evbyaki is probably the best against this character, just because I can actually move. So it's like, he may still can kill her, but at least I can move. But here we go, we're gonna see what Clinzy I, I've, I've heard, I've heard both Hime and Vaki players agree that it's Vaki favor, so that would make sense. Yeah, the fact that Vaki gets his first nice. hit. All right, let's see that pressure. That TK wind is crazy too. It it is. The fact that wind is air AUB even in the air. <laughs> it's uh, crazy. Lindsay Clinzy, Clinzy got unlucky there and just like cleared the pillar, but got hit on the last active frame. Oh, uh, the cross. And it gets wind. crossed up by Why the did wind that. Do that. Oh yeah, Kamane. Thanks for cross up protection. Except when you add the boss character. It's because right. she actually just turns around during the moves. The cross <laughs> protection doesn't work. All right, we circuit break the H wing character. We get a mix up, instant. Was that a jump? Jump A, right? Uh, I think yeah. that was first of JB. I... Yeah, forgive me. I looked like the first of JB, but it looks JB looks weird. So nice DP. I'm not sure. Again, yeah, good DP. DP. Protect DP. the rest of that space that wind doesn't cover. Yeah. And okay, we get that first attack. hit. Like this is. Was... Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is like what you want, right? This, but you just gets TK winded out of pressure, not ready for it, trying to bait something, just gets crossed up in the middle of, you know, of Oki. Yeah, meter situation not looking very good for Quincy either. You know, the meter management was looking quite good, but once you get hit right out of that, you're kind of yeah. crying for meter here. There's so much red on the table, and we need to build 100. Yeah, like, oh, the uh, don't attack. Oh my god! Attacked it, but we didn't get punished, luckily enough. Okay. Instant jump. Jump 6B. Yeah. That's a mean overhead. Mavi yeah. takes a pretty swift game line. But yeah, I'm still happy about that DP. Because like you, when you whiffed wind, like, Clinzy was like falling right on top of your head. And you had no frames to do anything except DP, block, or shield. So, DP is the best option. Yeah, I don't want to gamble with, like too much with shield. Yeah, because like, what, what if are your they... opponent just whiffs, right? Like, what if they miss you completely? And shield is beatable. Are they, you know, empty, they're just trying to empty jump throw you or something. Right, anything. So, DP is, like, pretty guaranteed. And once people start doing flying shield to beat your DP, then you know you're You know right. you've won. <laughs> you pretty much won. You just start doing nothing and they die. <laughs> Alright, Mavi got a little lucky. Oh, and again, oh my god, this character. Got the double air throw route. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. You gotta like be very patient against uh HMA's pressure. It's it's rough, but you gotta take your time. Yeah, you gotta take your time. She can't threaten you with that much. She she can't open you up with stuff like instant overhead, right? But a lot of the time the time she can do it at and actually get a confirm off of it is very you know, it's very predictable. Oh, win. Oh, there we go. Cross up B. V side. Honestly, on one of the most reliable ways of getting in with Hime is with a cross up button. So, definitely yeah. a good option from Clumsy there. I was definitely worried about the H Moon bunker. Well, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Alright, gotta make this count. Especially. Oh, she's gonna get 100. Isn't... Oh, no 100 yet. So, we're just gonna DP. Well, that DP is gonna give the 100, though. Alright, this is. So dangerous. We run in forward. We jump into the wind. Oh, that was a great reaction wow, I, too. Wow, I actually can't believe that was that was unpunished. That is way yeah. safer than I thought. That was a great attempt, though. I mean, definitely could would have worked, but you know, it happens. It uh, yeah, it happens. It's still could a have really been just nice frame up or something.
that was pretty rough. I feel like when Clinzy got the hit, like you have to be like, all right, H Hime has meter. We have to bait the bunker. This should have been like the first thing to think about is bait the bunker because Mavi immediately bunkered. And, you know, now you're dealing with Hime. Yeah, in FT2, you don't have time to mess around, especially as like, H Moon on defense. Like, yeah. if you, you got you to gotta show your cards early, but, you, you know, baiting that can turn the entire tide of a set so fast. Oh, boy. H Hime. What a terrifying character. <laughs> That, that is a very scary character. Especially, like, if you're playing a rushdown against C.H. May, it can be really hard trying to maneuver around or honestly, everything, really. Honestly, for me, I've had a lot of trouble fighting that character, even more so compared to F. Like, I find, like, I can fight F better. Uh-huh. I, I definitely get that. I th Like, in my opinion, you know, of course, that's my little Miyako player opinion. <laughs> Hime is definitely a worse matchup for my main than F. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, when F Hime is pressuring you, right? Like, if you get a good read on her and you make her, like, whiff a button and you air dash at her, you just kill her. But with H Hime, her offense is way safer, right? Because she's just, like, pressing buttons that you can't you can't move. And then she does the, the air wind, and then you can't move. And if you, you know, like, you just die. So... And again, like it's hard to get a random jump against her in neutral because the wind covers so much vertical space, and it's hard to get her toes because the wind attacks so far forward. You know, I don't know, but you know, all Himes are messed up. Just have fun. yeah, for sure. But yeah, it looks like we have our next match ready for you all, and it's going to be a good one. I have never seen these two play before. And I think, like, both of them are, like, super good up-and-comers. I think Marissa's even more new than Whisk. But they're both, like, yeah. excellent already. Like They Whisk are. Is, Whisk is really good. Even over the last, like, couple months, I think Whisk has taken a lot of steps forward. Going mm -hmm. from being, like, you know, I'm going to do things and win now is, like, a little more cognizant of neutral. Like, plays pretty smart, generally. Unless Whisk gets tilted. When Whisk gets tilted, then, you know, usually Nero does that, but we'll see. We'll see if White Unless, unless he has more than 100 meter on defense. <laughs> yeah. And of course, like, Mar uh, Marissa, I feel like, really impressive. Like, has just won the three addle recently, like a few weeks yes. ago. But it was, uh -huh. like, way beyond the three addle level player, in my opinion. Like, has really good awareness of the screen. Uh, mm -hmm. Ground game, patience. You know, those are like pretty much what you, what you need to get <laughs> to win those rackets and move forward. But I, th yeah, I think Marissa, sure. Marissa has a ton of potential, is already really strong. And I think this match could go either way. Yeah, sh showing that potential early with a character that's, you know, sometimes this hard to implement things with, well, you know, is, is definitely a, a good sign for Marissa. Mm -hmm. And again, a pretty unusual matchup. We're seeing a lot of these so far today. Mm -hmm. but Whisk should what? be should be pretty well used to this one. Oh, what the, so we... What? The mix-up? What is this? Ain't no, no way. No way this is happening, right? She does have... She does have a max secondary, yeah. Okay. So Marissa... <laughs> this is not something I would expect it from Marissa, honestly. I don't I, I don't see Marissa as a, as a Neko arc. Uh, let's see what you got, because... Nekark does die. I, I can I can understand like logically why you would pick this into Whisk too, because he has a lot of experience with Snake. Does Whisk no Neko combos is a big question. Because Whisk combos are pretty like nerdy, they're very long, yeah. but, you know. But has he you know, even if he knows them, has he practiced them? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's two different things. Alright, auto spark. Oh the that whiff? What? Was that? No way. Yeah, Neko wake up not that fast, apparently. Right, yeah, it just gets sticking to the baby combo, <laughs> but you know, some, sometimes you, you gotta do what you gotta. Alright, Whisk. Don't get baited into chasing Neko Arc down too hard. That's like the, the ultimate trap of the character. Yeah, and it's happening. You are running out of time, however, so you are well, going to have to Whisk has the lead right now, and it's very small, but 
this is the the problem. Um. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, Whisk. No, you just got lamed up by Neko Arc. <laughs> yeah, the heat stole the match, and that air dash. Maybe Whisk could have did a like, super jump and the super double jump, and just tried to like. Yeah, but that's pretty much the only thing. It definitely would have forced Marisa to do something, and then yeah. at that point, it's kind of a gamble. So it looks like Neko tried to anti air there, but you know, Neko Arc has joke normals, so it didn't work out. The gamble on wake up. We're building a lot of bar too. Get out with the, 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 the Mac bunker is pretty solid. It's kind of huge for God knows me. why. I like the dash under. We dancing a little bit. We got anti airs. We don't get the rebeat to get that full route. Oh, oh that route still works on Neko's apparently. <laughs> Whisk nice. knows. So Whisk is just doing regular combos at this point. I wish I could do regular combos to this <laughs> fucking character here. <laughs> wow, it looks like Whisk kind of like jumped through the air dash. Just trying to hit it, but you gotta be careful when you're trying to hit it because the Neko fall can be deceptive. Yeah. That move where Neko just falls straight down, that one always bothers me. Well, Neck doesn't have it. So. Yeah, oh, C, C Neck doesn't have it? Yeah, none of the Necks have it, actually. It's uh, yeah. it's a Neko exclusive J2B, yeah. The face fall? Yep. Okay, oh, the backdash into heat. That backdash has no recovery. It actually, gets Marisa out of that situation. You get a fair amount of health re recovered too. All right, nice dash under, but your buttons are useless. What are you gonna end here with after a dash under? <laughs> there we go. Maybe maybe we try 4C. That's actually 3C on this character, okay. but yeah. Forget that was 800 damage. Him. Nice confirm. Alright, it's very little damage. And HC. That's is lifely not... though. That's definitely lifely. Oh man, the movement. Oh the oh, shield. No. Alright, oh, the bunker. We need command throw or something, but it will, probably won't do enough damage. You can backdash through the 2-2-B and can't punish it. Because the knack backdash is so little recovery, that's insane. The Marisa on the board with knack. Not like this, Whisk. Take your time. Take your time. Because you, you notice, like, Marissa is just baiting Whisk into all these movements, like... The Nero... Arm move, the jump yeah, back button. Yeah, this arm. Yeah. But it's like if you commit too hard to chasing Knack, you're you're in for a problem. Like the beams oh and stuff. God. Like you know, the beams don't do chip damage. You can take your time. Just pick yeah, your that's, spots. That's wisely. something a lot of people don't realize. Is like, intuitively you think, oh, it's a special at this chip, but it just doesn't do anything. You don't even need to X guard it for anything. Well, actually, the, this one is at least chipping red health, the beam, so... Is it different from H and C, Knack, actually? Well, it doesn't chip, like, actual health, Yellow, so it, yeah. that's, like, the biggest thing, right? So you don't need to go in at the start of the round, you can just, you just don't have to care. Losing right. red HP when you don't have any, you know, you don't have any red HP, doesn't matter. Risk does have the lead in this round, gets backdash into heat again, it, doesn't hit though. All right, so Whisk really good, out. really good situation for Whisk. Marissa with no bar. We got Neko aerial box strings. That, you know, I'm definitely positively surprised by what I'm seeing from Marissa's neck, considering you know we haven't really gotten to see anything of that character. So seeing someone actually giving this character like a fair shot and doing pretty damn well with, with him it's kind of impressive but west seems to be starting to catch on at least a little bit yeah i mean marissa's movement has been pretty impressive having good movement with this character can be pretty hard with that type of air dash let's be real <laughs> And we fall with the Nero button. Oh, the the air auto spark, unfortunate. That was almost really sick. 
Wow, Neko seems to be able to crouch under some of her forward advancing normals. But having a uh, partying yeah, a little too hard. Say, yeah. You get the EX shield on 2-2-B and you get out of that situation. The impressive move. But mechanic. no red health from Mac though, so can't heat or anything to regain the little HP we have. So any, pretty much any hit should give Wisp the lead back, but doesn't look like it's going to be happening. You're rough. Come on, Wisp. You can't get too old by Neko or Chaos, right? But don't don't go in so hard. Just think, don't do it. Yeah, the knack revolution is happening now, old man. <laughs> this is the thing. It's like you beat this character by literally just chilling. Yeah, like, you, you really gotta be. You. But yeah, gotta really gotta be patient. Look at this damage, however. So any mistake from Marissa gets heavily punished. Assuming we can get a good punish, but so far Whiskey is doing well. And we spend all the bar. Maybe go for a. Uh, yeah, it just goes into Oki. We get EX shielded. That could have been a confirm. We don't get anything though, so that's gonna be pretty safety from Marisa. Guard break. Yeah, really nice. Dead. All right, one one. Yeah. There's one thing for Whisk. Uh, I would wonder is that Whisk, when in heat, likes to dump meter into the combo. I'm wondering if that's worth it. I feel like you should take your down and leverage your next knockdown with the auto spark to back you. I mean, he does do that sometimes. It's it's definitely a situational thing for him, but I could understand like that situation specifically. Wanting to knock down more, like the safe pressure. I mean, right. It's just like you just need to hit Neko and hurt him, and then run away from him, pretty much. Yeah. So, fair enough. Like in this matchup, I you don't you don't need to dump all your meter to kill him. He's gonna he's gonna die plenty well on his own. All right, it looks like Whisk going for like air throw, but there we go. That was that. Th you said it was three C, right? <laughs> yep, that yeah. three C. That's just a wall of green. <laughs> yeah, it just got annihilated. All right, Marissa trying to deal with this pressure, trying to get out. Finally, yeah, Marissa was yeah was wow. probably looking for you know two two B again, but Whisk didn't give, didn't give that to her so. Nice throw on the landing. We don't get the air throw, Ender. Yeah, I tried to Good move Good confirm from Wisk. Oh, Bunker wow. moves so far Ripping forward. Out. No meter on either side. Can Marissa bring this back? Heat? Gonna need to, but it's not gonna even get the life lead, so... Oh, now... The life lead. That's the life lead. lead. <laughs> yeah. Even wow. without the lead, she's still playing really well. This is quite a match to be commentating. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't ready for this tonight. No, I gotta be honest. My CNAC knowledge is not stellar. I can't lie. Mine isn't either. <laughs> <laughs> is that 63? Like the same as H That's 63, yeah. That's the same. Every Neko has that one. Okay. Well, but I think Neko, actually, I think. Can we see Neko another arc drive? It looks like we are. Wait, was that a regular well, speaker or the arc drive? That's that's uh the that's like a second arc drive. Just yes, a like half the reverse half circle. Well, half circle back. I mean, that messes up the controls. I think that was oh, it. All right. I remember the regular. Well, I think Neko no, that's arc. no the, the Neko arc one messes up the controls. I think Nax is just a circuit break, but it does it for both. Wow, how did that Which is what we saw. Alright, we're definitely... Is one hit away. Uh, oh, he got We it. had a... Uh, so Neko arc chaos was just like, you know, opening his mouth, posing, and then we got to escape, so... Something you know, it, it, it looks like an obvious overhead, but it's still the fastest grounded overhead in the game. <laughs> it's like frame 18 or something. It's ridiculous. So, not the way we wanted to see Whisk go into losers, but... Not the way we expected it, that, that's yeah. for sure. I mean, kind of give to Marissa, but, you know, Marissa, I was saying how awesome your white line is, but now you're the villain. You're the villain, you're yeah, playing... You're the, yeah. You win with... Okay, you lose with Knack, you're, you're a funny person. You win with Knack, you're a villain. <laughs> uh, you, but that's the thing, like, everyone... 
needs to actually like make sure they know how to fight this character because you don't want this to happen to you. It's it sucks to lose to Neko or Chaos. Yeah, I remember hearing stories of how much like Scraw labbed against that character for like the one time he had to face like a pretty good Neko in bracket and was like, nah. I like he like labbed how to EX shield blazer like perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and like lab Neko specific combos to like make yeah. sure he didn't get to play. Yeah, and that's for one player who plays Neko or Chaos. So one player. You gotta yep. follow Scrot's lead. If you want to be the best at this game, you should be doing that for majority of these players out there and their characters. Let alone Nekork. No, Whisk. We're not making fun of you. We're all Whisk fans over here. We're making fun of the Nekork players. Yeah, that's 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 it's pretty much it's pretty much the usual, right? <laughs> Um, I was planning to have some losers match stream. It seems it still hasn't caught up to winners. Oh, we do have a lot Not of fully. Like, neat matches in there. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. I think my... Uh, we can't have Nice Moffin versus Moss Train. I think Nice Moffin's set just finished. And then we can start top eight. I think that's going to be... I think that's the right call here. Okay, cool. So our top eight winner side is like pretty much set then. Yes. So Skeleton, Mavi... Isaiah's and Marissa in winners. Yep. <laughs> Pretty strong. And Marissa actually upsetting Soara before upsetting Whisk, all with Knack. I mean, ugh. I would have believed that Soara, it. It's not the first time Soara got done in by Nekos. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, a thing that Aoko players can struggle with. But I wouldn't have been surprised to see Marissa make those two upsets. What I was surprised. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would have. I would have kind of seen it happen. Yeah, even with with White Len, right? You know, I'm, yeah. This Neko arc thing came out of the blue for me. I need to do my homework because Marissa is going to ask me to play one day, and I'm going to get Neko arc, and I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I mean, we're going to try to get some of these losers matches then. We get one that is the plan. Uh nice more often. Yeah, nice more often and and Moss already started. So we'll be getting either Whisk versus Goku or Curse versus a winner of Chester and Monarch. Yeah, unfortunately well, I mean, and Moss already started. So we should just do Whisk and Goku since they're just Yeah, chilling. I think Whisk and Goku just, you know, they're just chilling right now, so and we can give Whisk a chance at redemption right away. I wouldn't have died. I would have preferred to, you know, have a wait, but between, you know, the Whisk yeah. matches, but it is what it is. Well, such is life. It can be unpredictable. Sometimes you got to play on stream. <laughs> All right. So Whisk and Gaku, you like, are up. Ask him if he's good with it. I mean, Whisk is a like, breather. You know, so it's just a kid. You got infinite energy. That's true, but sometimes it's all the more reason to calm down. <laughs> sure, too much sugar flowing through their veins. And so close to Halloween, they probably got Halloween candy and all this. Whisk, too much <laughs> sugar. You know what I really want, though, for this uh, what's that? This fall season. You know what I want? A pumpkin cheesecake. Some kind of like pumpkin pie style cheesecake. What do you think of that? Oh, that's that sounds pretty. Fun. They're pretty fucking good. Yeah, and it's like, isn't this the season for that? 
Like, you know, yeah. October, November. Instead of putting like, in pumpkin spice in your coffee, just, you know. Just so let's get all our pumpkin flavored things while we can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about this. So I sent my friend to, like, go. I was like, yo, find me a pumpkin cheesecake. And he's like, he went to one of the bakeries and they told him, you got to wait till November. And I was like, is that really true, though? Or they just didn't know that they should make it? Because isn't October pumpkin season, you know, Halloween? Does any of this matter, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What Moss and Nemo said is already over. Yeah, October. I mean, but either way, where where is Gaku? Where we got Gaku? And where Moss? where is Gaku? That's a very good question. Uh, Gaku replied in the losers bracket. Um, I think they're looking oh. for this. Got it. Yeah, so from from So like okay, whichever shows up first between Wesk and like Chester's set finishing. Okay. So just to think about the matchup that we could potentially see, like Wisk with the H say against Crescent Aoko, I would I would say that's gotta be Aoko favored, right? Yeah, yeah, that's at least like reasonably so. Yeah, I would say the big thing that would be scary is the Seifuku acceleration on her dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you're trying to like maybe put out a four two one orb or something, like maybe she could just be so fast that she could like zip past you anyway. Uh huh. Yeah, I think like our air buttons aren't necessarily going to be the best at clearing out orbs, which is like. Because they're not very disjointed, so Alco herself wouldn't have that much trouble challenging mm -hmm. it. The one unique tool that HSA would have besides her buttons, though, she does have the one pillar set or, you know, mm -hmm. pit, pit thing. I wonder how that plays out. That would be interesting to see. But yeah, I don't know That's... what's going on. Are we even doing anything? I think we're like, we're waiting for Whisk to be back because Whisk's like not, hasn't responded yet. Yeah, maybe Whisk went to get a snack or a drink. So maybe we should try the, yes. the Monarch set? I think Monarch... I mean, Monarch Chester is already ongoing. So, yeah, I think we can just kind of go on to winners at this point. It should be fine. We should, you know, finish in time. All right, I mean, that's cool. So I guess we can send... Skeleton and Mavi, so our top side of the winner's bracket. Yep. And Skeleton, of course, is just sitting at the computer ready to drop the IP immediately. Okay, so they just didn't. Okay, so they were actually playing. With they, even though we had also already called it. <laughs> what? Oh, they were Playing the whole time, Man. I couldn't even connect. All right, sure. And then you know we got a. What if Sander responded or said anything? Gaku is just like writing expletives about H say. <laughs> so you can tell <laughs> what happened there. Okay, cool. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> I've been there. So, so Whisk, you you got your redemption, but it was off stream. I actually wanted to see that match. Yeah, I definitely could have been like would have liked seeing any of the these are just top eight. Those just top twelve matches, but we didn't get to. So all right, so it looks like we are pulling up to this IP. I'm I'm in there. We got skeletons, just Mavi. What yeah, a lot of players I didn't we didn't get to see either. Like I, uh, you know, didn't see Wise Guy. Wise Guy beat Soara. Mm-hmm. Why is the Zeroa? I would like to see Monarch play too. I wonder, you know, but Chester, you know, Chester's 
going in with that H Tono. We're gonna see what happens with that match. Yeah. All right, so Mavi Skeleton. Skeleton's a nerd, you know. One of the favorites for like top five, at least, right? For Climax. Yeah, at least. Can, you know, most people would probably put in, you know, at least top three. Right. Now let's see if Mavi can tear down this weird skeleton kid. Skeleton always wears the same pants every, <laughs> every everywhere. <laughs> He's got the, those like pajama pants. <laughs> yep. All right, we're going with Pete Coma. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes you just gotta be comfy. I mean, comfort comfort really matters for tournaments. Honestly, like you know, you want to look cool too, but you know, your pants you gotta have nice pants or whatever you gotta wear. Just gotta be in whatever you know. Let's you focus more. Mavi gets the first hit here. Right, it's the skeleton just air dashing over, but immediate bunker. Yeah, ni a nice proactive movement, like on defense. All right, skeleton getting out of there and sneaking in with the dive kick. I'm actually uh -oh. getting confirmed from that because Mavi didn't tag. Wow, wake, wake up, up throws out. Oh, that was dirty. That's cheap. Yeah, wow. that's the the classic HTMA setup. Just wait for win auto dead JD right before that for the instant overhead confirm. Really cheap stuff. Mavi looking good in this first round. Get to confirm. Yeah, oh, with the win too. Again. Another one. Mm -hmm. This time beating Skeleton's attempt at a low mash. Yeah, so Skeleton's like, I've had enough. Maybe I need to make something happen faster. All right, been jumping into the wind and more wind. Everything is air unblockable. Well, not everything, but too much. <laughs> this is not a, a good matchup for C. Coma. I, I, I don't think this <laughs> needs to be mentioned if you know the game very well. But you don't even need to know the game. You just gotta look at the screen. Yeah, can again. It can just look at the screen and be like, yeah, I don't think something's off here. Yeah, and as soon as Skeleton has a chance to play, like, Mavi is ready with the bunker, so Skeleton's gonna have to think about that. Uh -huh, okay, we get the immediate burst from Skeleton once to get some offense going. We get a hit. Alright, gotta still be careful. The Dragon Punch, yep. And the one thing that's... Bad. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Last chance, no meter for bunker. Yo, he's staggering so slow, he doesn't want to get DP'd. And we get the hit on Hime trying to, like, get some kind of corner escape. Mm -hmm. yeah, one thing about Seiko Mazuki that's pretty important when the character's defense is very reliant on DP is that command grab can be used to just OS DPs on the wake up. Because hmm, you're just holding four at the end and you need to wait for throw protection to run out anyway. So you can just block and it's going to block the DP while you're trying to command grab. Don't even need to think about it. All right, so Skeleton had and a really I... great start there, but now Mavi is on the offensive. Yep. You need to get something going pretty soon. Uh, a good hit without a float could... Oh, we guess the ground bounce isn't going to kill. Nah, without a ground bounce it would have killed. But... Yeah, so that was the second time, or maybe even third time, where Skeleton just like hanging around in the air and catches Mavi with the, the late coma dive. Mm -hmm. And that time it was like that's... a counter hit too. Yeah, that's what it's like really good for in this matchup. Yeah, so you have to be like really be cognizant of that final air option as he made. Just you know, just keep walking back. <laughs> just keep walking back and wait. Just yeah, you, just <laughs> uh, you know, he made. <laughs> what are you gonna risk? All right, let's see how this tech situation plays out. All right, he made back that's a lot advantage. of damage already on Navi. It's only like twenty five seconds into the round, and that's it. Yeah, so I mean that's how it goes when you're fighting against Skeleton. If Skeleton hits you once, that could be the game. And you know, this is not the way you want to start the round, too. Yep. Immediate 5k combo to start things off. Now he's looking for the bunker. So Mavi is Mavi's too scared to use it and gets Yeah, because now Mavi Oh yeah, because you want the auto block oh. at this point. That's rough. Like, uh, first of three. Oh no, it's first of two still. It is FT semis. two. But yeah, semis. it's only it's only one of your semis. Wow, really good adaptation oh. from Skeleton. Yeah, it was like Mavi <laughs> was killing it in game one, but you know, you just get hit. You can't make any mistakes. Like 
you know, you, there was the one like whiffed geyser skeleton clears it. Now you're dying. You know, any mistake is just potential death. You got to be really careful. And that round star, yeah. round star DP. You know, I don't think round star DP is necessary. Like Hime's movement is for round star. I think is pretty excellent. Like you ever just super jump over them and then air dash back and watch her float all the way across the whole screen, for example. Like, yeah, <laughs> like she can kind of go where she wants. So I wouldn't want to directly fight Coma like that. But, you know, sometimes sometimes you just got to let Skeleton know, honestly. But only if you can make that DP safe somehow. But I don't think she can. All right. So we're doing our next loser or winner's match. It looks like. Yep. Going to be Zayus' Marisa. Interesting. More up and comers. Everyone's an up and comer at this point. Are they even up and comers anymore? If they're just, you know. I don't in, know. In winners. I don't uh, even know. <laughs> or have we just been here too long? <laughs> we might have been here too long. Because <laughs> we're, we're, we're still calling everyone up and coming. Like they probably yeah, Mana Bay, yeah, Mana Bay is definitely up and coming. <laughs> <laughs> is Marissa really gonna do Nekor Chaos again? Like I, really I, like he's yeah. been playing him the entire bracket, apparently. How am I supposed to call we'll see. That? And Isaiah is hovering F Akia is also another thing. Like I know Isaiah has been playing F Akia as like a side piece, but you know, yeah, we actually know they actually played the F Akia in Grands of the Last Nail they've been playing in the oh, fight, yeah. and they actually reset the bracket on them. So interesting. I don't know if I've ever actually seen the F Akia. I'm a big fan of the character. And we you know, I haven't been seeing a lot of characters, you know, Plot's not really playing, Fox mostly plays Lumina now. So we haven't right. really been seeing to see, uh, getting to see Ephagia. Yeah, and obviously, you know, if we look at other regions, the biggest proponent of Ephagia was Goichi, and you know what happened to that. Yeah, they still have a couple of super strong Ephagias in Japan, though. Yeah, there's for sure. Yume, and then there's a, the other guy that's also named, like, Yume, but with, like, it's, like, Yume <laughs> four times over or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was the Kaisijin that showed up to, like, both Melty and Exo events that happened. All right, so we are getting F Akia and Nekor Chaos. I wonder how this will play out. I do, too. I mean, I you know, her movement isn't the best. Obviously, chasing isn't gonna be going very well, but I think if necessary? they get a hit. I feel if, like yeah, it's still. not. It's definitely not. But if they get a hit, I feel like it's gonna be very, very bad for Nack. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Is that a reset? I feel like. Yeah, I was reset. Maybe just like don't try to do special moves so often because he might just like snipe you out of the air. But you have to find a spot to use some of the stuff, right? Like I'm thinking like the spider web could be okay. Again with the Bagdash and Tahit setup. Two two pits to snipe Nekoark's landing could also be difficult too, just because of the way Nekoark can stall. Yeah. And yeah. That and then you get the, you get to charge them for so long if he's stalling. Yeah, you see, like, Isaiah's is, like, trying, and then, yeah, you you want to do your special move, but you're getting hit by random things. You want to so. get, like, a decent range close to, to Knack first, I think, so he doesn't, doesn't feel safe doing beams. This is why, I mean, if this goes sour, I would imagine F. Ryogi is a good call, because you just have giant buttons to contest the airspace better. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't really have any problems with mobility, that's for sure. I feel like Isaiah's is like, what am I fighting right now? That I... is, that definitely seems to be happening. <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> so at this point, Isaiah's is probably going to want to play for the IH. Get a big hit, yep. Immediate IH, but Marissa's out of there. And you can see, you can tell just by that air combo that Isaiah's does not want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just like, didn't even double jump, so I don't know what I'm doing. Get me out of here. <laughs> just like Neko, like crouch, crouching back, avoiding the pit. Gets guard broken too. No meter. Uh, and the mist. Oh and my three god. Three C. Say uh, not, not like refusing to hold back on. a wake up. There we go. The words are coming out. <laughs> yeah, bring. Okay, Afriyuki is coming out. Marissa, why did you do this to us? The people need to learn. <laughs> people need to learn before a random knack shows up at Climax and just cleans house. Alright, we're throwing out Nekos. Do they do anything? Like, that one was just crawling on the floor, like, I don't get it. <laughs> nope. They Ryogi's 5 feet with them don't even do anything. Alright, footsies, let's go. Man, yeah, we're gonna go for the OTG, just take the damage, and it doesn't no, work! That doesn't work! It doesn't work! No! Just gotta do an easier combo. Alright, just chill. Take some space. Marissa going back to the corner. But now Azair's is like, what are these things? Like, what does that do? Yeah, the deer actually only hops once. Even though it's like, meteor. Alright, there it is. Jump A. <laughs> He's so small that JB2 just whiffed in the middle of it. Oh yeah, and really unfortunate though. Isaiah didn't get a lot of reward off that counter hit. Nekoark has the lead. And avoids the super. And now Ryogi has no meter. And no knife. <laughs> and we already know. No How are you going to jump in on that with this character? Neko Rocket, overhead, it's a wrap, you, you've lost. Cute air throw uh, wasn't Yeah, if you, if you had enough. meter, maybe that could have been something, but without meter, you can't kill that. Oh yeah, we're doing an easier combo, I, I respect it. Fair enough, pretty good damage, nice dash up, punishing that back dash. Oh. Just, 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 just hold back. Just hold back. Let, yes. let him get that the life. Like, what's gonna happen? Nothing. No! I didn't want to... Baby, help me. No, Isaiah. Don't. Not like this. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Marissa is seriously the evil villain. Come on, Isaiah. Is that combo? You're. Bread and butter doesn't work. Maybe we can just do air counter hit into just ground Rekka super. Okay, nice. That, that, that super skill. It was like one eighth of his HP left. Yeah, you know what? That's true. That's mentioned in the chat. Nick, we, we thought you, you taught Marissa Len. What happened? Why is Marissa playing Nekar Chaos? All right, let's go shield counter. Let's get that 2k. It gets a proper air combo. All right, Marissa gambling now. All right, Isaiah's is adapting on the fly, like just figuring out combos for Neko Arc. It's like, all right, if you this take it out of the corner. Kill? Okay, no, it doesn't spend the meter. We get the unblockable, and that's game two. Oh boy. All right, this is also what happened to Whisk. Whisk did take game two, and Marisa still adapted to what Whisk was doing. So let's see, let's see. Not a good round start. <laughs> That's only 2.8k, and now you're you're holding. Oh, we missed a meaty. Oof. Get the guaranteed meaty from throw, but I see it was missed it. Good uh, confirm. Why is Ryogi still doing less damage than there? Bro, where was Neko Arc that whole time? Uh, I think that was a messed up 2 1 for C, probably. Just trying to get the knockdown. Can't imagine why else he'd be whiffing 4C in the middle of that string. Yeah, you're right. Alright, nice snipe. A lot right. of damage. Good meter situation for Zay too. Yeah, so Isaiah just needs to, you know, look at the life lead and relax. You don't gotta force anything. Oh. You don't have to do all this. Don't have to do all this. Well, Nat can, can't punish this, actually. 
full by Zay. Just you you're, you can challenge this. You can just JC. Don't, just jump JC. Don't lose with flying golden air throw whiffs, please. I believe in you, Isaiah. Yeah, just chill. There you go, footsies. Knack whiffs, yeah. you punish. Because he has to take so many risks to do anything if you don't have a life lead. Alright, so the chicken guard blown up there, and we got meter management. 4.4k from like just an air combo. <laughs> yeah. And the like, one little. You don't away. need to take risks. Unfortunate dash under gets blown up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, now, I mean, is Nekar gonna die now? Maybe one more hit. No, right? but one more hit. You need to pay for your Neko crimes, Marissa. Come on, Isaiah, finish it off. You know, I'm no bias. Okay, there we go. Quick please. That, that's okay. me calling that quick. All right, punish for Neko our crimes. But Marissa. Still, we'll honestly, making it, making it to winner stop eight with Neko. Matt, how are you gonna? I can't, Marissa. Marissa I can't. I can't. Here. You 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 you, you did so, you still did something right to get here. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> Marissa writing GGs with multiple exclamation marks. That's toxic. Wholesome as always. I know. How Which, can you I don't think so it's nice? No, you can't be that nice when you're playing this character. See, I I I don't even think they realize it's a bad thing. That's how nice they are. <laughs> Just people like that sometimes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that that's true. I mean, listen, I'm I'm not gonna buy it though. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm going with <laughs> neck or players are toxic. Everyone in chat is with me, or at least even if they're not, then no one's gonna know because the YouTube vod won't have the chat in it. So you know. <laughs> 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 so right, we have our, our, our uh, losers top eight finalized, by the way. We do have Clancy, Nicarus, and the Whisk, Nice Maroff, and as our losers matches. And that latter match is going to be what we're seeing now, I believe. Okay. You know, Zay, really, I think the biggest thanks gotta gotta give you, because we avoided Skeleton versus Anak. Oh, that <laughs> and winners finals. That would probably have been a fucking mirror. No, 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 no. I don't think Skeleton can help it if he sees a knack to just mirror them. I, yeah, Skeleton would definitely do it. Oh boy. I mean, thank God. But Marissa's still in this bracket, and Marissa could run it all the way back. She so, could. <laughs> there's, a, there's a pretty good chance we're going to be seeing more Neko arc. So, so we are well, we're at least guaranteed one more match if if she doesn't decide to change and losers. So yeah. in the meantime, you know, someone uh, might have to pass us the Neko arc wiki because I don't even know. Max <laughs> like the only one character that doesn't have a proper <laughs> wiki written. <laughs> this is what happens, y'all. This is oh why you need God. resources. <laughs> I mean, and now we got another match, and we got Whisk versus Nice more often, which is two characters, two characters people don't like blocking against. We got H Say and Efries. Yeah, the infinite looping pressure. To an extent, <laughs> I mean, Efries. Uh... <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm quoting here. I'm not. That's all. I'm not my list. <laughs> Well, Efreece is like she has like the beginner trap thing where you don't know to to stand guard her hop kick. But, you know, even so, her pressure can be decent. But in the end of the day, it's still just F-Moon F moon stuff. Strike throw. Uh -huh. Or h say can definitely feel problematic if you're not playing, like, a Crescent Moon character or have, like, some special character-specific way to get out. Because those two twos can be pretty toxic. Mm-hmm. Like, even with uh, when I play FCL, I was like, how do I win? So I, I tried shield into 2-2-A because I can cancel into EX Black Key, right? But I noticed yeah, right. that h say can guard my 2-2-A. And if she can yep. guard it, that means she could shield back. So I'm yes. thinking my counterplay is not that good. 
Uh, yeah, she, it's the same as with shield counter. So like the the yeah. same the same counter play is gonna end up like beating it. Yeah, that's why I thought about two two a because I was like, man, shield counter slow. I'll do the faster thing, but she could still guard. So yep. you need like a if if you have a frame five two a, I think it's still too slow. Like if you're Moon, you're like ex shield doesn't work. You need oh, four frames. Wow, but at least you can ex shield and jump. So crescent moon once uh -huh. again. Well, if it's for, for, since for it's frame five, you, you still get like a guaranteed block because that still didn't stuck on the neutral frame so but yeah see narrow if he's a bit if he's too far <laughs> to 5b gotta hold that <laughs> he oh, may yeah. gotta hold that he may actually has to hold it it's crazy well i wonder like there has to be something right maybe a ex elbow for f he may because it, it just shoots through stuff but mm -hmm. i don't know well, someone out there, if you play your if you whatever character you play, you gotta like do your homework and figure out what you could do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I mean, there's a lot of characters that have like weird situations like that. that you gotta be ready for. Like, if if you don't play a Sea Moon and you you like shield Sea Coma pressure, and then he just like wreck us through. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like he's like wrecking through your shield counter. He's armoring through it. <laughs> what are you doing? That's yeah, the I'm kind of playing. stuff you gotta know. There's so many things to learn in this game, and I think that's what makes it really fun. No, I mean, that's like, why we're still playing it. Like, what? Yeah. How long has it been? How long has it been? <laughs> well, for, yeah, for me, like, three years or so. I mean, the fact that you started playing the game, like, what, seven, eight years after release? Right, yeah. That alone really, makes it yeah. a lot. I just started playing because I thought it would make me a better Undernight player. And then I just threw <laughs> Undernight in the garbage after playing this. this one's more months. fun. <laughs> it's like, hey, I can move. That's really cool. Wow. I can do things in the air. Yeah, and now I'm like, you know, this game has, you know, like every fighting game, it has its issues, but it's still like one of the most... At, at its most core. Fun games. Yeah, the neutral, the neutral of this that. game is goes beyond what any other fighting game can offer. Unless you know you're fighting he man. But yeah, like I think we can tell them to play. I think we're about to do that, and we're gonna get Reese and H A. So yep, again, Seifugu dash is crazy. So even though Reese can like poker, if you you have to probably poke too early. To counter yeah, it's gonna but... gonna be taking a lot of risk if you're trying to do ground pokes in neutral. Yeah, so if she runs at you and you try to poke her, you can hit her, yeah, but what if she runs at you and then she just jumps and now you're whiffing 5D or something? That could be dangerous. Isn't there the thing where Reese can like hop over say like crouching with her dash? Oh wow. I think that's a thing. Right, or like, so. say is so small that that the the Reese dash just goes above her crouching. That's interesting. Let's see if anything like that comes up. Oh, we're just getting hit by the pillar meaty, but at least we're out of there. Yeah, I, I, I expect to see a lot more JB than 5B usage in neutral in this matchup. Right, nice from air nice from often. Oh. Nice air, but we don't get a confirm, and we try to burst and get blood heat instead. Yeah, Whisk just stopped two Aing. I just, I just was expecting the burst. Alright, chasing yep. the tech with jump A. And I saw is definitely a player who's ready to just pan to max every time he gets there. And now we're in a dangerous spot because no meter, 8 saves, and auto spark. Alright, but you get the 5A, 6 saves. Risky play from Wisk. We don't get punished. Still holding the pressure now. Yeah, nice 2B, but no jump cancel. Big hit. Last chance. Oh, we might get timed out now. Yeah, the combo itself might last long enough that... Okay, no, we get a pretty simple round, but the Ooh. pressure is going to be rough. I wonder... I wonder, can... It's probably too slow, right? Like, 2-3-6-C through the 2-2? Two, two? Uh, you can do, do it through it, but you can't do it, like, after. Yeah, no, shield not two, on shield. Two, but you can like, shield 2-3... You, you, can, you can definitely, like, shield it through the gap. All right, another big hit, but no conversion. And this time the 5B just gets air dashed over. And H Shade will always take you to the corner. It's one of her strengths. Look at her flailing around. Her normals, I always mention how silly they look. 
Yeah, because she has like half F say normals, half C say normals. Which is like, they, they don't quite fit the moveset like together. <laughs> Alright, nice counter hit. Let's make it count. Alright, let's do some nerds. Let's like, do a fuzzy or something. Oh no, nice bunker. The, the bunker like took away the potential for any fuzzy attempt. And now the max is over. I don't think I've actually seen NMO go for the every fuzzy before. But that's definitely something I'd be like looking forward to seeing him do. Oh, can't try. see a risky charge. See that that say dash is going so fast so far. Yeah, it's it's got the craziest acceleration in the game. You you're not safe that's... anywhere on the screen, and I just because of that you lost. It was just like I'm going to tap charge, but you just immediately lose your turn. You know, I wonder if Fuis dropped that combo on purpose and not going to max. So the timer could just run out. Right. That's really interesting. In any case, we're seeing a stage switch from NMO. Does not like Whisk Sage. Oh, big counter hit JC. Yeah, Got the counter up. carry route. Not quite. We hop over the corpse. Is that what you're, what you're talking about? Oh, that was just a like, corpse hop. And the I think, if fate. I recall correctly, like the corpse hop should just straight up not work on her, like, what, her knockdown, but it just works when she's crouching. If it's the character I'm remembering right. Hmm, that was interesting. I don't know why you would want to force Max immediately. Like, see, the dash just didn't go through the wake up there. Hmm. Alright, Whisk dropping. Just jump A and. Air throw. Yeah. I mean, you just have your air out. options there. You could try to escape rather than just teching in play. Oof, the double overhead. This does work on nicer often. Let's see. A decent hit could do it here. Ooh, just trying good. to get an extended air sequence. Nice off he gets counter gets counter hit. Yeah, that and was pretty around. tricky to block. Yeah. Could have had like an opportunity to like wall could dash under there, but it's definitely something you have to really like tell yourself to do. It's hard. It's not intuitive for sure. Oh yeah, and you don't, you won't know, right? Because that would be kind of like a guess, because she could fall and do it low at any point. Yeah, once you've already like held the double jump or the air dash again, you're like, ah oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and with Reese being like a tall girl, she's more susceptible to these like multi overhead. Oh wow! Oh, like it's reset by the pit. Yeah, not the spark you want to attempt. Usually aerial sparks are more risky. But let's go. Let's run this back. Not like that. It's not blocking the meaty. Do be whiff right in Wiss face. Don't get anything from it. Somehow Whoa. we got tied. We're charging a yeah. bunt, and it looked like the bunker probably got hit. Charge too much. The thing is, yeah, charge you, too much for sure. Yeah, when you charge bar, a lot of times you just tap it. Don't hold it because if you hold it, you're losing way too many frames, especially against a zoomer character. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't Lumina. Lumina, just hold it. Doesn't matter. This game can't do that. Yeah. Well, speaking of that game, everyone has Seifuku Dash in that game too. <laughs> that's right? true that's literally true yeah everyone zooms so fast in that game it's really when i play that game that, that's one of the parts that really gets me like oh i think they're pretty safe from just did so i can throw something oh no i can't <laughs> Yo, you can like neutral jump from across the screen and if they press dash they can dash under you it's like whoa yeah <laughs> like, oh, okay okay realistically they can because you have buttons that are like the size of the screen <laughs> Well, yeah. But what do we got now? We it looks we like Cleansy Icarus. Icarus. Interesting. I think we. I think they played this. I feel like I commentated this match like a few days ago. Like, am I crazy? I think the ten v ten. That I think it did happen in the ten v ten. Yeah. I believe Icarus took it. Right. So. I don't know. I'm a, I'm one of the biggest Clinzy fans in the world, so I'm trying to see Clinzy run it back. Mm hmm. The HB Shion, if you're still playing the character this far in, you got to root for them. Yeah, of course. That's not a character that gets any passes. Yeah, she. 
that was one of the, like the first characters that I fought when I was learning this game and ended up being like one of my friends. Shout out to Busy. That helped yeah, shout out to me, Busy. Helped push me really far in this game. I still remember when Busy beat be, 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 uh, J Bell at a. What was it already? I don't remember the name of the event. But I was like super surprised. And I know that it ended with like Busy air throwing J Bell's burst. Oh. And everyone was like screaming. It doesn't be like that. You can't just try to burst on Busy. Busy's a nerd. <laughs> so shout out to the young Busy. I'll see you in Kirby's Dream Buffet. Kirby's Dream Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with me and Busy and a couple of other the former Melty Bud players, we actually played uh, Four Swords in its entirety through Netplay. It was quite a quite an experience. That sounds really fun. So yeah, shout outs to HV Scions. All of you out there, I see you, Grimhorn. Grimhorn was saying that I, that is like JG called me Greenhorn. Uh, if I if I did, I'm sorry. I know your name, <laughs> Grimhorn. It's not, it's not that outfitting of a name, okay? It's still pretty new. It's still pretty new. Not not oh, looking yeah. too green though lately. Then no, Grimhorn's doing pretty, pretty nice. I mean, we're we're good, right? Manabe is good too. I think they can play. Yep, I'm good to go. Alright, so Makes we it. got Get the FL Co HV Shion. We have to swap the names. Manabe. You hear me. Yep. Got the wrong side. Uh nope, nope. Right, one important Fowl thing Fowl. about this matchup is that HV Shion cannot dash under fireball. Which is something most characters can afford to, which can be pretty big deal. Because HV Shion likes to run around a lot with that dash of hers. Yeah. Can she at least do a run up and like press a low button to lower yeah. her box? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty. But it still like cuts a lot of her momentum. So you, you, she can't like dash in and punish Alco for doing it from like mid screen. She just like has to stop right at the fireball. Gotta be. Yeah. Clinzy being pretty aware of these orbs too. What? Raw overhead. Let's go, ghosts. Respects just gets hit. Mm -hmm. Respects until it hits and then just gets hit. <laughs> Alright, nice bunker. We're out of there. Icarus backdashing. Alright, Clinzy trying to close the gift distance, but the orb in the way. Yep, Icarus. there it is. Just force the dash block it. Ah. Uh, land into 6B. I wonder if that's what Clinzy wanted. Okay. We don't have meter for bunker, which is problematic. But we don't have meter it's for Sounds a fucking either. blue fire, so. Being an H moon. Text it! That's it. Yeah, I mean, the time was running low. It was. But I'd still feel like there was just enough time to try and make a play without taking that. Yeah. All right, but Icarus just like enforcing F. Aoko's will. All the meter dumped into but all the blocks, and and Good throw. shield. That was a shield throw. That was definitely yep. just a throw with AD, right? That just got yeah, I got the plank, the <laughs> plank throw. Yeah, so that's like kind of unfortunate for Clinzy. But here we are in the corner. Wow, we just jump out of plus frames. But all right, we pin the landing, take that round. So, one round of peace. Ah, oh, I like the 6B idea right there to try to clear orbs. Mm -hmm. it's if I fire Z, does that to success a lot, especially against the Seattle Corps, like playing versus Gaku or something. Mm -hmm. But, Afalco kind of got a lot going on, like, which you have to actively you know, be ready for in neutral. Alright, nice punish. See, Oko can't really present. Oh no! Oh, messes up oh, no. combo twice in a row. And DP, but okay, neither of them have meter. But Icarus could charge just get from meter from Fireball. Yep. Oh no, the overhead hits, but it's not much damage. There's still no meter on the table, and you have a massive life lead. Try to find an escape route. 
Oh, the scrot, the jump A. Staggers. Oof. It's barely missed Icarus whipping, and we got the jump A to end it, calling out the up back. So, Plinzy taking it. Alright, right away, Icarus this time immediately put into the corner. Nice dash under. Whoa, Clinzy. You had Icarus right where you wanted him. You didn't need to do the flying air though. It doesn't matter. Another really good dash oh, under. Messes up the two to the 63 count, I think. It's, it's not the kind of whiff you want, then that's gonna force Clinzy to stop her combo because of the overhead, which is clip. Yeah. Lindsay was a little worried about that uh, the orb above. I, I actually think it could have clipped. <laughs> That's yeah. the wild part. You could always just jump into it with like a shield for fun. Wow, jump 6A. Icarus mashing. I'll take that down. We got Satsuki this time. We just deep here. Like a tech Angry trap. Fun. A lot of meter on board for Icarus right now. Yeah, I'm probably just going to spend that. Yeah, and that was in like, I don't, I don't know, F Alco, you know? You spend all uh -huh. meter on mix-up. She has a lot of red health, though, but, you know, if you get the mix-up, you win. But we don't get a confirm on it. Chicken box the bunker. Yeah, Clinzy is not going to be regaining that yeah. HP anytime soon, especially since the round's over. Yeah, just didn't account for Aoko falling with buttons. Just ran in a <laughs> little too early. Yeah. It's too antsy to get in. Nice jump, A. Beautiful. See, seeing <laughs> a clean, like, Shion or Vishion jump, A head is like, hmm. That's satisfying. <laughs> so. Beautiful. Oh, Icarus. Trying to throw a fireball, but your opponent has an air dash left. You gotta be careful. Especially with it, with the dash momentum going in, like, it just gets so far. Oh, you're gonna do a left right? I'm holding up. Yeah, <laughs> just holding up. You're not meeting me, I don't care. Uh, messed up air dash. Makes Icarus lose his turn here. Alright, scary stuff for Clinzy trying to navigate these orbs. Now you gotta hold. Oh, no, 2 2 C. That's. Oh, no, that's the orb. Ah, uh, tragedy. Melty Blood. 2 2 C is so minus, too. That could have been so bad for Icarus. Story written by Multi Blood Shakespeare, and this time it was a tragedy. <laughs> oh wow, that was a whiff punish. Yo, HV Scion's dash is crazy. I didn't know that the J and JG stood for Joker, but here we are. <laughs> I mean, you know. All right, let's get it. We got the the high orb as well. Let's see how that comes into play. I guess that was a decent time to pop it. All right, we're moving. We're dancing around each other. Yeah, I feel like they went like corner to corner like three times in 15 seconds. Uh huh. All right, but now Icarus with the event. Oh, oh. oh, good EX cancel to keep himself safe. Yeah, into the into the bombs, right? The blue fire. Now every time I see someone just get clipped by EX fireball from F Alco, I I'm always surprised at how much damage the confirm does. It's like yeah. why does that not prorate? I feel like that should prorate way more than it actually does. And you feel dumb about it, because it can just happen when you're trying to disengage. You're like, oh, I'll just air dash back, I don't want to fight her. And you just press a button to reduce your landing recovery, and you just hit by fireball from full screen. And you're like, oh, no, I'm dumb. And then, you know, if you take 5k for it, you're like, man. <laughs> Icarus really likes this uh, 2c Abare. Pretty far-reaching poke. All right. Yep. Good block. Until you didn't block a lot. Icarus okay, with so it. much momentum right now. Clancy just smashing for a life. It's not doing anything, and that throw's gonna seal it. Yeah. It's really rough, right? Because you're playing Half Moon. You have no EX guard. Like, your defense is pretty rough. You don't only get, like, you really only get one real spot to gamble a lot of the time. Get that bunker in, try to find a good spot for it. Sometimes you can gap reversal or just try to jump out. But Fauco does not leave a lot of spots to jump out, especially if she has meter. Yeah, so Icarus will be moving on in loser side, and this will be a run back, right? Didn't they play Marissa and Icarus? 
No, or it was Soara. It was Soara. Oh, yeah. So the F Alco gauntlet will continue. Yep. And the other side of losers is Mavi and Whisk. Should be an interesting bout as well. See if Whisk can maintain composure against Hime. And that match will be coming up next. Yep. This will be H he may H say. Two characters don't want to block. But that will force <laughs> the other one to block. <laughs> Always very entertaining matches, those. Oh, whose IP am I joining right now? Mavi's okay. Mavi. Okay, I messed up. I'm just joining Whisks. No shade town, says Mavi. That's like, you know, Whisk always picks that cursed stage. And it's a good stage. It's I like it a lot. You know, it's like a boomer stage in a way. Yeah, it is. Also Nania stage, so, you know. Oh, it is? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not his stage. Okay, have you been able to connect to this? I just got in, yeah. Alright, I'll just watch your stream. I got it. Alright. Yeah, another matchup I've never seen in my life. It's just whoever gets the hit's gonna win, but the neutral's probably yeah. stacked in Hime's favor. Yeah. You just gotta be careful. If you make a mistake, you you die. But that's the life of Hime players. You can't mm -hmm. make a mistake. Just don't say, definitely, say gets has a ground game to to deal with this for sure. Uh, good to go whenever you are, Monade. Yeah, gonna have to be really careful fighting against her dash. But I don't know. Just press two and four B. You know. <laughs> well, I, it's still still minus. It's still minus. Yeah, but you know, usually Sometimes. you find it, but your push back pretty far. That it yeah, really the pushback on it is is what really makes that move obnoxious. Yeah, case in point. <laughs> so, so two and four B right into the other wind, the air wind, and you know, wind. Wind is crazy. Yeah. You know, fire, earth, all those elements, but you know, wind is the one in this game. Nice it, it really is, Parker. huh? Oh, big whiff on the pillar. And Whisk is now officially in, but no, you can't drop your combo. And now auto spawn. Oh, is this going to be a conversion to kill? I don't know if this will kill. But regardless, Whisk is not going to be happy. Yeah, this is now. not a good situation. Instant overhead gets countered. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, I Life's like rough. the animation on that punch from Hime. I hate that move, though. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> All right, first to get under. Oh, the mine is not detonating yet. Get hit. That's 4K from a pretty simple confirm from Moesk, and got a pretty good position now. And Hime doesn't have bunker meter, so DP's all right, or we're still a meterless bunker. Oh, or tech DP, we don't get the the proper punish on tech, so that's gonna get him out. Nice, we're dashing under, but now we're in an awkward positioning for Hime. They didn't know what side, so you probably couldn't even input DP there. Look at Hime, she's facing the wrong way. Yep, she was facing the wrong way the whole time. The bunker this is, is going guarded. to give us the second round. Yeah, so. Isn't that what we mentioned in one of the earlier matches? There was a player who got the knockdown against Hime, but didn't bait the bunker? Yeah, it was Clancy, I think. Ah, so this time we're seeing Whisk just like actively looking to bait it. You get the round for that. You know, if, if Whisk didn't bait bunkers, I think I'd call him a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> These H Moon players. So we have two, two H Moon enthusiasts remaining in this top eight and that's the first command grab we've seen all day actually yeah 
All right, Whisk, another one. And now we are going into heat, take you to the other side of the screen. And it's not a fighting game time. if you do like... <laughs> I was about to say, the first time you get command grabbed in the set, you're gonna get command grabbed two times in a row. Actually, it was three. <laughs> All right, so Mavi DPing out. Last chance to live. Meter's situation looking good for Mavi, but needs to get out of float soon if he wants to get max. Yeah, it's like kind of losing. Didn't really gain Ow, any meter. The, the thing is, you don't. Maybe you don't need the meter. Just spend it for the pressure. If you get one good hit right now, you could win. Well, you gotta be careful. The chicken guard. Oh man, we were dodging. Somehow, pillar. Do I confirm on the pillar? The wind is there. The landmine saving the Another day. Another instant overhead. Yeah, so that was quite a comeback there. Young Whisk was looking really good at first, but the tides, once again, they have shifted. Okay, five B. Five B really a strong button for the win he makes. It covers such a good angle. It's so big. It's so fast. Yeah, and in this matchup, it's probably not that easy to use just due to the speed of the dash. You gotta be ready. Well, yeah, you know, as opposed to some so another matchup we saw earlier, right? Like Efries, who whose poke is still really good. Or five B really good, but she can't just throw it out against say. Whereas he may. It has so little recovery, it definitely feels more usable in this matchup. The power but, of the princess. you know, talking about that, and Wiss is just getting this corner long down, kills yeah. Mavi off of, like, one hit. I mean, it'd be like that. That's the life of Hime. It's the life of a multi player in general. We just it's die. the life of a commentator. You start talking about one thing, like a sentence takes like, 10 <laughs> seconds, and the round's over, you can't say anything. <laughs> Alright, nice dash under. Get it, we got some pillars, just keeping Whisk out, but now Whisk is- Oh, you thought you were in! But I have win! Look at that the angle, The angle, like, air wind sense he may add is, like, so good for preventing air approaches. She just oh, fades no back way. into the corner. Oh god, that landmine hit. You just walk back and let the wind do the job for you. What are you gonna do? You thought you could pin my landing, but now the landmine, the the wind is just chilling. <sighs> oh, the landmine! Oh, right. Yeah, those two now. Damn it! Whisk, <laughs> Whisk has had enough. I was like, you know what? I don't care about your wind mine. I'm running through this. And okay. we're gonna go. Again, gonna, get it, gonna get heat. It's gonna be to be so much HP for Whisk. Yeah, that was a nice setup. Bunch of overheads. We dropped the combo into command grab. That was a new setup. You know. All right, whisk. Grab the combo into command grab is pretty, pretty try and true setup, I think. <laughs> yeah, looks like Mavi tacked into buttons. Probably was like, you know, trying to reduce or something. Maybe just yeah, let's just try and get into this new, this other game. This one's not working out for me. Just keep your head in the game. Don't don't let it take too much momentum. Just get it over with. I'm kind of liking these ideas of putting out those pillars for, uh, for say, I mean. Uh -huh. It's like a drug Hime a little bit, especially with against H Hime, right? Because she doesn't have the meter for the snipe. Like, she's going under 100 constantly. Yep. Even if she starts with 100, she basically never gets suspended. Actually, ducking under that win. Alright, we got the corner. We just wake up MASH. Nice run under. Press buttons. Good stuff. Dude, Geyser into wind is crazy. That's one of the- It really is. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Wrong right. way. Thank you, Kamone, says Wisp, but hold this bunker. Alright, this time- Hey, you're playing Kime, crazy. you should be the one knowing which direction you need to do your input, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is this going to be it? I think this so. This should be it if Wisp doesn't drop, and that's it. Alright, so... Whisk potentially on set point. Mm -hmm. We got ready uh, even meter like situation, but it in, in theory in practice it's definitely whisk advantage because yeah, even so after this combo, Bobby's gonna end up floating soon enough, and that meter's gone. Ah, or they can just bunker it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who cares? This <laughs> bunker. Yeah, immediate bunker. Why not? 
All right, Whisk is like committing very, very hard now. I think Whisk has had enough of any kind of patience. Might might be getting antsy now that the wind's on, you know, on the table. And Navi's this round looking untouchable, and it seems it's continuing. Yeah, it just needed that time. Mm -hmm. Two dominating rounds by one of them. So, really wonder how this one's gonna go. It's like I said before the set started, neither of them like to block, and both of them are very good at forcing people to block, so these rounds are, you know, going very fast. This neutral is actually chaotic, too. The falling air button. Okay, we got a bump bunker and we're out. A lot of air pillars, but it's, I feel like that's yeah, giving the wind this time. Oh, tries to bunker the wind that... It's uh, ambitious, so, you know, it probably works. But you get hit by the cross-up. Oh, and that's it? Death. That's, that's oh, it? Definitely that. Her life bar was just... Yeah, Ma Bobby was wait, mouthing. Bobby got the really nice confirm. The one that just makes you die hard. <laughs> you get the pillar hits. That pillar does yeah. so much damage. And the wind that is like completely unscaled starter. Yeah, what it seemed to be there is uh, the neutral definitely was favoring Mavi the uh, pretty much the whole way through. Whisk made a couple of crazy plays, but it seemed to be like whoever got bunker hard knockdown won the round. Yeah, it's uh, you know, and then the last few interactions of that set, uh, you could just see the like. Whisk bunkered and immediately just got bunkered again. Yeah, and you <laughs> like, know. that's not that's not the thing you want if you're playing an H V mirror. That's like the, the one thing you want to avoid. You just spent all your resources and then <laughs> you just let them get away with it. Now you're stuck holding a hard knockdown. I mean, hey, if you, bunker them, key. if you bunker them, you should know they're gonna do it back to you. They've never seen an H Moon player get bunkered. With meter and not bunker in the first three seconds of blocking. <laughs> okay, so our next match is ready to go. Marissa and Icarus. Oh man, so this is quite a ride, this tournament. This is quite a ride. Icarus is going to have to get through Knack this time. If he wants to make it to losers' semis. Matchup known to be uncomfortable for a lot of alphas. Yeah, and Marissa just super solid, but you know, you're Neko Arc. I don't want to give you props anymore. Uh, I'm conflicted. <laughs> At the same time, you know, don't want to be a toxic commentator here. <laughs> I mean, uh, look, what are we supposed to do, you know? It's Neko arc. We're supposed I mean, to. At the same time, if you're losing to Neko, you know. I mean, you know. But it's it's this goes both ways. Our Neko players are highly skilled. <laughs> 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 All right, we are just hopping. Oh God, no! This isn't looking good. Icarus already dropped the first air combo. <laughs> okay, actually, know what to do here, okay. uh, or not? Maybe we spoke too soon. But Icarus is maintaining a life advantage. That is the important part. Don't run in, just hold back. Why are you know? jaying all over the place? Yeah, it's really weird looking neutral, right? Like, this looks like a button check or something. But I understand why he's <laughs> doing it. Because, you know, yeah. Knack tends to just throw green around the whole screen. Right, so you're just trying to hover in this airspace and just press button. But it looks so silly. Yo, yo, web? How's <laughs> that web coat? Yeah, shut up. Got scared for a second. The web <laughs> teleport. What do those other moves even do where Neko like summons other Nekos? I don't even uh, get it. For for Nack, it's not very useful. Neko has like a, like a couple weird gimmicks. Like each of them have different effects. One of them's just useless, but like the other F have a fact, but Knack just doesn't really have a use for it as far as I remember. Okay, so this just hold back, you have the life lead. Icarus, yeah. I believe, still has the life lead. Head. Oh, not anymore, oh, that though. Chips. That chips! Oh, the 
Marissa, you thought down back was the answer. But maybe you should have moved was more bad, but then you just like kept holding back, and that was yeah. Hard. When people say just hold down back, they don't mean like forever or you know. Okay. Yeah, no character in this game is that linear. <laughs> We got a deer, it just goes that way, it's gone. Alright, we pressed 2A, it works, but Icarus is cutting these combos really short. It kind of doesn't matter, it's still pretty good damage. Alright, we rock it away, backdash. Yeah, Marissa's being pretty elusive. Up back buttons. Icarus pinning it, and no bunker, but you're gonna drop. Icarus, no. Run up held shield. No, you deserve to die. I mean there's That's no defense. Pretty rough that. first game. I mean I'm imagine you're fighting Neko or Chaos and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna run up held shield against like, like how five how character. desperate are you to like for Knack to interact with you in that moment? <laughs> Like, we're not talking about, like, one of the most strongest characters in the game, where maybe you feel like... Like, it's not Search or Satsuki running at you, like, chill. <laughs> okay, let's see how the second game plays out so far. It's been Marissa's favor, but any hit from Icarus will Why you, like... Man, I, I understand, like, doing the JC fireball, right? Uh, JC orb. I don't understand just going for air throw after it. Like you already have Neko at the right height after that point for like a combo. So like just just air combo, just re jump air combo. Yeah, I'm assuming right? it's uh, just afraid. Probably has never practiced a Neko combo again. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. So the lack of knowing is leading to going for the super gim throughouts, but then we're dropping the super gim throughout even at that. And now, the absolute state of North American multi blood is <laughs> Neko Arcade. You know, we were complimenting. <laughs> Remember how, how we started? How the scene was going. <laughs> you know, it, it always devolves. We always have, you know, we. I always regret it by the end of the bracket. <laughs> It's just like one of those Thanksgiving dinners, you know? It always starts off nice, greeting everybody, and then. You know, your crazy uncle shows up, and it's Marissa. <laughs> Why are you playing Neko? Why are you doing this to Icarus? Icarus is like... ...changing as a human before our eyes. I, I think this is familiar territory to Icarus. Such things have <laughs> happened that have befallen him before. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice heat. We're gonna get a massive life lead now. Marissa in complete control. Icarus, you're done. It gets yes. thrown during the overhead attempt, but yeah. wake up bunker, you're gonna get Marissa out of there. I don't know. Okay, this is your last Finally a convert. But Marissa's too smart. That's it. That was a No, great... we don't get the J Yeah, that was a really good corner escape from Marissa. And then just catches Icarus slipping. Neko beam, baby. So yeah. Marissa. Good. Nervous fireball there. I wasn't really a reason to fireball in that that situation. Honestly, you're not going to be catching knack jumps, and he can't even like or can't standing. even be hit on the ground. Right. <laughs> He's not going to be hit standing. He's not going to be hit anytime. Yeah. So our winners' finals will be coming up soon. Yep. Coming will be up next on to loser semis to face Mavi. So. Stay tuned for that after our winner's final. Uh, don't we got any ads or anything? You know, I mean, it's it's. <laughs> I, I, I'm letting I'm letting uh, Monobe take care of that. I mean, if you want to like get ads up before before top four starts, I'm all good with that. Question mark? Question mark? I mean, listen, we've been talking for like two hours straight. I need water. <laughs> I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if a combo worked, and it does. Okay, let's see. I don't have anything to, to chill out or anything. We should be the winners, though, because they've been waiting yeah, for a while. Yeah, we should do winners. So... I mean, you can put, like, the Twitch chat to turn off the, like, you know, what's it called? 
Pre-roll ads? Yeah, that's what it's called. For people coming in. All right, we'll get be a quick Twitch break ads. So you could get water and stuff. I mean, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine with whichever you decide to do. If JJ is good to keep going, I'm good to keep going. No, I'll do a Twitch ad. Go ahead. All right. All right, we have one minute. We have one minute. Okay. All right. All right, speed run time. All right, are we still alive? Can the world hear me? Yep. Uh, favorite right, so Halloween candy? Oh, geez. I like um, Reese's all day. I like sour stuff, dude. So what kind of sour stuff are they giving out on Halloween? I like the, uh, the gummy worms. Sour gummy worms. They're super bad for you, though. Like the, the creepy crawling gummy worms? Yeah. It's in season for the holiday. Oh, you know, I found out today that was... Should I? I don't know if I should talk about it on stream. You know the company Nerds that makes those Nerds candies? Yeah, the little, like, pebbles or whatever? Yeah, I heard they make, like, hot candy now. Hot like, candy? Hot yeah, I saw like Guilty Gear players talking about it today. So shout out to those Exerd players out there. You degenerates. Crocs and socks. Yeah, I'm calling you out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to those Exerd people playing. They finally got their rollback. It's uh I've been playing a little bit too. Pretty fun. Yeah, I I got the game, but I haven't actually like practiced it yet so oh god i used to play exert quite a bit like from 2016 to like 2018 and mm -hmm. but now i am trying to play again and i can't air dash anymore like i can't do an instant <laughs> air dash and it, i blame kamune for all of this like it's kamune's fault the button dash for air dash is so easy i just forgot how to how to move I I really don't like doing six six dash. I can't lie. I mean, the instant air dash is like you got to hit nine, and then you got to go to neutral and hit six. And I'm just like, I suck. So I got to relearn all of that again, which I'm not looking forward to. But I mean, it's still fun. I entered exert at my local. Too. I went two and two somehow. I'm like, yeah, you stupid Raven player that lost to me. Yeah, hold that shit forever. I haven't played in four years. But then I got I got smoked in the mirror match and I was like so salty even though I don't play. I'm I'm like I'm such a nerd. Alright, uh, they joined, so let's okay. get the winner final going. Alright, so our winner's finals is ready. I don't think me and Vivi are ready, however. I'm about to get in. Okay. It looks like Isaiah's is hovering. F Akio wants to try this character out. The only way to get great experience with your sub character is to throw them to the wolves, and yep. you got the ultimate wolf, young Skeletor, fresh off of a trip from Italy, returning back to America to play more multi blood. <laughs> He's out here. He's fiending. 
Yeah, really hungry. I hope Skeleton does well. Just beat Scrot already, bro. You know? Just do it. It just beat Scrot. How hard can it be? <laughs> I mean, you know. Scrot's a dungeon knight duel. Dungeon fighter duel. <laughs> dungeon knight duel. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even know what it's called, you know? <laughs> I mean, there's an N in there, right? And the N doesn't stand for anything. It, it stands for dungeon. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're finally getting into it, and F. Akiha is locked. Let's see how this F. Akiha will play. Alright, we dead that pit, Skeleton baiting it. Skeleton just chilling around the pit. Takes the hit, doesn't really do much. Ribbon, that though. That 2 gets turned around, really. Alright, kind of a little bit of a scramble there. Isaiah's coming out on top. Punishes the tech. Yeah, Skeleton just testing that out, trying to see, are you going to do the thing where you set the pit instead? Ooh, big jump C. Oh, I think that was a mix-up attempt, but got a missing button yeah. there. It was kind of a thing where Isaiah's is probably trying to just bait something, because Skeleton's gonna EX shield or do something weird. So I understand that. And now we got the corner position. Trying to get some lockdown, basic stuff. Pinning that landing with the 2A. We and start out with a perfect. Yeah, and how hard is it the perfect skeleton? It's, it's pretty hard. All right, it's, let's pre see. it's pretty hard. <laughs> All right, but this time Skeleton hitting Akiya's landing, so reversal of fortune. All right, good block. Box. Get out with e good EXRs on the Rekha sequence. All right, but Skeleton fighting hard to keep this corner position, but wow, that jump B. All right, spends everything just to hold this corner. We don't, we don't get it confirmed, so really, Skeleton yeah. made the right decision with, like, with not respecting. Yeah, I don't know about this. This might come back to haunt Isaiah's. It's like, I, F. Akiha really wants to play the life game, right? With the IH. I don't know if you're going to be able to get IH. Uh-huh. Well, definitely not if they're stuck playing defense the rest of the round. Yeah, and now you're in Skeleton's land. Nice little setup there. But no blocking. Wow, you might actually just lose this round. Hey, All right, he's looking pretty good, and the mash gets caught by 2B. Yeah, we're like looking pretty good already. Quite an ambitious mash from Skeleton. She's kind of plus there. And the jump C hitting again. But we got a drop. Nice jump A. Just catching Skeleton trying to air dash back in. I wonder if that could have been caught by like 6 2 3 C or something. Mm -hmm. Isaiah's is being pretty liberal, uh, liberal about throwing all this meter away. I mean, it seems to be working out. Yeah, I mean, if Skeleton's willing to just I mean he's calling out skeletons gambles pretty hard so keeping the advantage has been has definitely been working out and there is the force C mash this time I like the retreating ribbons man Isaiah's is getting a lot out of that jump C oh uh, tries to get the not quite instant overhead it's not an overhead yeah yeah it's and instant I mean, mid <laughs> yeah but All it's right. still plus, so and it's still a pretty safe. So. All right, but now it is officially skeleton time. What do you got on defense? Oh, gets out. Kevin doesn't confirm. Uh -oh, that's gonna right. be IH. Yes, let's go arc drive time. What are you gonna do, skeleton? All right, we're just going for that instead. Okay. Unless that was like a error. I don't uh, know. Maybe it is our drive time after all. Yeah, but not the one we expected. It's basically the same move. <laughs> <laughs> this is fire versus fire. Same element. Oh, good block. Ah, the 2 2 just whiffing. Gets punished. Skeleton hovering. Oh, risky oh, no. shield. Oh no, oh, the BP. Oh, everything is falling oh, apart. Good, good back down. That yeah. was like a really 
weird scramble that lasted like much so too long for me to keep up. Isaiah tried to air dash back with the ribbon, but you're on the wall, so there's nowhere to go. So Skeleton is slapping with the button. Mm -hmm. Dive kick. That was actually excellent dive kick. Yep. All right, what do we got? Come in. Grabs the tech. It be like that. Damn, Price to force but gets IED'd over. That that's definitely a clean response to force you Bari from Aki, huh? Mm -hmm. the force doesn't catch does. quite high enough to catch IEDs. Oh, gets the corner by doing that. That's actually pretty neat. A yeah, good skeleton. stall. Grapping now. This is where Skeleton wins. This confirm gonna do it. Yeah, she didn't have enough meter to kill it. Yeah, it just catches um, Isaiah is trying to do like a jump back button in the corner. Maybe you should just go for like a basic corner escape. Just try to get out of there. You don't gotta hit him. Skeleton's scary. Hmm. Skeleton's definitely... The styles is pressure more so to get out than score counter hits usually, but... that That's, that's one way to get counter hits. Oh man, that looked like the bunker could have got punished. I'm fairly sure he can get punished. I heard Hanami talk about that. Yeah, Hanami, yeah. Hanami knows a lot about that move. <laughs> yeah. It just looked kind of weird in that instance. Yeah, for sure. Akia bunker, I believe, can get punished. Just because it just goes under and... Well, and there almost should still be in plus. Skeleton getting some mileage out of that air dash. Yeah, that Koma air dash so good for like doing a, like offensive maneuvers. Again, I feel like Isaiah's is getting like goaded into a Skeleton's game. Like it's becoming like a, you know, they're just punching each other constantly, and that seems to favor Skeleton. And this game is looking like it's over. Yep. Wow. Okay, so you have one more game left. Mm -hmm. these, these more scrambly interactions, the more scram like really, they're scrambly games as a right. whole are definitely favoring Skeleton. Yeah, we haven't seen since the beginning of the first game, like Isaiah's have a chance to set up Akiha's game plan in neutral whatsoever. And we really, you know, in that game one really could see how much control Isaiah's could have, but he's they're not like going for it right now. They're letting yeah. Skeleton dictate the pace of the match. Get okay, good guard break. Okay, right, 63 and tiers the IED intent. We get back to a neutral situation where, again, Say seems to be trying to scram. Gets... Yeah, it's looking like Isaiah is looking for like jump C hits rather than trying to keep Koma out. Uh huh. Yeah, just trying to interact through, you know, scrambling neutral instead of yeah. getting the... And see, like, right there, just trying landing. Trying to go for the Akia game plan. You gotta be careful on your landing. Like, Isaiah's landing and tries to, like, press. It looks like a skeleton messed up big time there, though. Maybe yeah, I definitely want a TK2360 there. Okay. Isaiah's can get something started here. Nice protection of the corner, but uh oh Good shield realizing what situation they were caught in. Again, the air dash is too fast, no response. And we just get hit. And we tech. We put our whole life on that tech. Fair yeah. enough. That TK, the TK, uh, like 236 setup is a real tech trap. It's one of the rare moments that Koma can cover everything from yeah. that. That's actually one of the first times I've seen Skeleton do that. So it looked like it would be some kind of a trap. Like, doing it from that low is what makes it real. Right, okay. And that would cover all the techs? Yep, it does cover all techs. Oh, and if wow. you... If you don't tech, it just ground bounces and you get to do it again. Or like, do Rekka Ender or something. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But, but yeah, like, I don't think I've ever seen Skeleton do that before. 
Well, I've, I've, I've seen him do it in some online brackets before, but like, that's it. I, I, I have to think if he's also tried it on me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I got the sequel of knowledge on that. Oh boy, now we are getting into the nitty gritty, right? We're getting yeah. near the end of the bracket. And so now we're getting more Neko. What is this matchup? What is this matchup? God. Neko versus he don't, don't don't talk about God. He's forsaken us at this moment. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I mean, who do I ask then? Odin? Like, I don't know. <laughs> the, will the Valkyries come and take my soul? Um, does this commentating this count as dying in combat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so look, if I'm Hime, I just don't go into flight because I don't want to lose meter because I want to. I want to ex pillar network, right? Right. Honestly, there's so much stuff you can guys on reaction. Oh to. my god. Why am I even commentating this? this is, I this don't is... know. Alright, but watch Marissa win somehow, so you know. God. It can happen. Marissa It can happen. Marissa is the protagonist today. But they've been playing really well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And we oh my god. Alright, I mean, you know, he means corner. This is oh, okay, okay, we just fly out. Yeah, she's That's never cornered for long. I actually like that option. It's pretty fast. And you know, probably her hurt box disappears. Yeah, the hurt box shifts really fast after that TK win. Alright. And it's, it's gonna be a lot of like delayed low options, right? Alright, so it looks like Mavi is just like, alright, I'm just gonna do H Hime stuff, but I feel like you gotta have to be careful. Alright, that worked. Why'd you get hit, Marissa? It's like these, uh. Like caught an air whip, dash startup or something. I think these whiff pillars in the air should be getting laser beamed every time. Especially when. There's some angles it's not gonna cover if it's like too diagonal. Right. But you know, especially when uh, H Hime doesn't have 100, but you're dead. Yep. I should have to learn on the fly. I don't know how often you play Nekor Chaos in, into H Hime. This is definitely new for both of these players. Yeah, so but again, two hops. I really feel like H Hime wants to just chill on the floor, just build that meter, just to always have the the EX pillar ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, Maki isn't going for float routes really, so that's. One sign of not wanting to spend meter. What? Oh my god. What? Oh, so. I, Mav, like, yeah, that was a teleport. Invo yeah, on the teleport, diamond. avoiding the EX pillar. Usually you never see the EX pillar just whiff, right? Because it tracks. That's. Uh, it only tracks when it comes out, so. Yeah, if you unique. manage to move out of the way. Not an interaction you see very often. All right. I mean, who do y'all want? You know, we have the criminal H Hime or the degenerate Nekor Chaos. Welcome yeah, like to the one's Blood. a mass murderer and the other is like a thief or something. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, they're like, not well, he, like, he, like Nak. It's more like you know vandalizing by putting graffiti with genitals on it. It's yeah. Nak. He made like genocide. It's like, you know, different scales. I mean, you know, we call her a princess, but she's, uh, you know, one of those, you know, from those countries we don't want to talk about. You're saying she's white? <laughs> I couldn't come up with a good example. I was thinking, like, ah. I don't want to like. I was trying to go into my history playlist, but I don't. I don't know anything about history. history I'm playlist. I, listen, I went to public school in North America. I don't know much. Let's get back to the okay, match. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> like this is what commentary devolves into when we watch Nack. Okay. Oh wow, the two and four B Neko spacing immaculately to avoid it, and there it is. Ex pillar. You're trying to do anything? Sorry, kid. Marisa still has a small lead right now. 
Yeah, yeah for now. Oh man, trying to neko crouch over any over or under, excuse me, anything. Oh, Somehow we're on the other side. I didn't think I could get pushed out there. Right, I mean, so it's actually just like knack holding a line just does that. So like, if you're not getting block string, he's just gonna do that. But he does also have a three, like a three walk. Right. Head box, that a cigarette. <laughs> Ooh, you try to ant here. I wonder, you could probably uh, geyser the ant arm on reaction, right? After blocking probably, it. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually safer than narrow Farsi, so I don't know. Okay, the life lead is really close, and that looked like... Oh, I thought the, that Marisa still it. got it? Okay, we're really taking this one to the wire. They are fighting for their life. <laughs> Tech jump C. I don't, know, I don't understand that choice. It's Neko Arc. Does Neko Arc just tilt everyone? Is that what's happening? I mean, to a degree, right? I understand. Immediate EX pillar. That did oh, a that's lot. so much damage. That just kept like through an entire corner of his own. Yeah, she can't block while in flight. Kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> oh my god. So Marissa taking Is Marissa that game. gonna do it? Yeah, isn't that kind of funny? So, like, Marissa, like, does that super, forces Hime to jump, puts her in flight, and then shoots her with the Neko I beam. Yeah, that is a pretty interesting interaction. I feel like Mavi could have definitely like, gotten another way. Yeah, Mantis Arm definitely feels punishable on the whiff by Geyser, but I don't think it is lost. I mean, it like Mavi could be right? geysering a lot of these. It's so green, you can just do it on the action. Like the recovery still extends her box. Yeah, so it also goes back to just relaxing a bit and taking your time. Like Mavi is playing this like pretty actively. Well, now we're slowing down. So let's see if anything changes. You know, we put out the wind, and then we actually get. Punished by the deer. Okay, we're air dashing at the Mecca. Alright, these pillar pillars have been working out. Footsies. Yo, hold on. Neko Arc Chaos just whiff punished Hime's 2 on 4. That's wild. Okay. Don't get baited, Mavi. You're good. You're good. You don't gotta get baited. This character might just be like Evaki, you know, two air dashes. That's broken. <laughs> Dude, a that dash? team outpaces the wind. Really good awareness from Marisa. All right, the life lead is. It could change though. <laughs> that could have been the life lead from that. That's life lead. Oh my God, the damage. Neko does have the worst health. Pretty sure that part of Neko's health is like almost even worse than his initial one. Like it's almost as bad. Like the third, so the third quarter, it's like trash. Oh, wow, we tried to snipe the deer, but it was actually safe. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna blame rollback. The, the knack zoning, <laughs> spam stuff, and hope they don't realize it's nothing actually. That pushback on beam is pretty good. All right. Wow. Let's Save move. teleport through deer, but we get clipped by wind. Oh, I'm trying to you know, escape from that. Yeah, just put out the wind mine. See what happens. See, like right now, I like how Mavi's playing. Like we're just like chilling. Not doing all this chasing. It's just like, alright, you hit me. Like, see what you can do. You can't do nothing. It's like, walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> yeah, put out a landmine. Yeah, so... I think it's over. I think it's over. I think Mavi figured everything out. It's I mean, even, even if they didn't, what what is Marisa gonna do? No meter. What are you gonna do? This is all you gotta do to win with Hime. All you gotta do is be elusive. It, Neko doesn't change nothing. So that final round, that was, that's all you needed to know. Mavi realized what had to be done.
ended the deed. Knack has been executed from this tournament. I can wipe the sweat off of my brow, finally. <laughs> I feel like I've just been through hell. Yeah, I didn't expect any of this. I... Oh, for sure. Marissa, please play Len next time, White Len. My blood pressure went up because I had to call multiple Neko or Chaos matches. My health is quickly deteriorating. I might need to be <laughs> replaced. <laughs> I might collapse on commentary. All right, so what are our final matches? We have Isaiah's. We have Zay Mavi. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we'll still be seeing the Akiha because Akiha and Tuhime is pretty rough. Yeah, but it seems like Isaiah's has just been playing Akiha all day. So yeah. I wouldn't be very. Then surprised. again, did switch for, for, you know, for Marisa. So if the lack of comfort in the matchup is enough, we might be still seeing the switch. Yeah, especially because it's Hime. She's toxic, so... And Ryogi is surprisingly confident at dealing with Hime. Yeah, I mean, it felt that way with F Hime. I haven't seen how she fights Wind Hime, but I would be curious to see. I've seen... Oh. I've heard Drake's from people like Drake and such that at least with C Hime, it might straight up be heathen. So really not bad H Hime. Actually, like that, H Hime might be even, and C Hime might be close to winning just because of like the, the the difference in commitment the two need to make. But we yeah. seem to be going for Akiha so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, this would look pretty bad on paper. Akiha's special moves all get just lose on reaction to Ex Pillar or Geyser. And, and then, Bunker know, still goes through a lot of her stuff easily, like on offense. I, I, there's a reason we see Bunker right away. This is going to be the problem. Akiha is trying to like set up things to make like to establish just like respect at long range, but like Hime is just so much better playing that game. Yeah, I think the way you want to play with Akiha is hover above the 2 and 4 range and maybe like try to annoy her with uh, uh, the ribbons. But it looks like Isaiah has found a way in with just like jump C. Oh, tries to fuzzy. Messes it up, but still keeps their turn and we get the round. Finally, someone learned their fuzzy. <laughs> All right, we got run unders. We're doing wind into geyser. Yeah, I'm minus, but you're so far that I'm going to geyser you. Oh, and there it is again. The jump C. Mavi has to be prepared for that kind of stuff. Okay, EXD. All right, drive. Yep. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he just took 2.8k and lost your meter from a reversal. <laughs> Wow, that, so cool! <laughs> that is a lot of damage. It is. I mean, for H Hime though, at least she goes down to zero meter. Ah, I, I mean, she was already hit. in max, so she was doing that. So you know, right? Yeah, but it's like F Moon can arc drive and charge back. You know, I mean, she can also A D, <laughs> which is way better. True. It's, he seems to be, like, comfortable in this matchup. Yeah, but you see, that's like, I don't understand why Mavi went to the air like that. You have geysers. Why are you trying to contest in the space where Aki has two pits set, and they were charged to, like, level three at that point? Yeah, I don't really think there's a good reason to do that at that point. Yeah, I think your character thrives on the ground game. So, might as well stick with it and abuse your tools. You know, like you just abuse that double 5A6AA on lock. <laughs> yeah, that's Why can like, you do that? Who knows? It's really crazy. <laughs> that move is so toxic. 
Yeah, Isaiah is once again showing I will spend all my meter on pressure. I can definitely understand doing that on a niche moon that doesn't have meter for bunker. That is like definitely more reasonable than a sea moon who's very whoa whoa okay. Yeah, I mean it's because you know when you lose neutral so harshly. Because it's teammate, you definitely want to maintain that advantage when you have it. Yeah, you're not gonna beat that. <laughs> How are you even going to make this up? I don't even think it's possible. Don't. Well, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Oh, I forgot. There's only ten seconds. All right, have fun. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't realize this round was going on for like a half hour. But again, this is probably why you want to manage your meter. Because look how much red health is on the table. If Isaiah's was able to IH that. It's definitely a play. weird balance to strike. Alright, I've missed the ender. Yeah, see like right there, the ribbon whiffs, you're walking back, just geyser it. Like, what is she gonna do? I feel like all this is unnecessary. It's like, Isaiah just keeps trying to do special moves on the ground, and we're allowing it. There we go. Let's get landmines. Two and four. Best move in the game. Oh, that that let's not get started on their argument. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of best moves. Don't worry about it. That's true. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Not a good trade there for Mavi. Now you gotta again hold dropping it at like the last hit. All right, we're floating. And we get jump aid for our floating crimes. And now we're eating a jump seed. Should be dead. Uh, I think if uh, Pfizer just went for like super double jump, G2C, 623 c could have killed. But... Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, but it's still a good situation right now. Yeah, there's no chance of dying. So we are taking it. Oh, we're, this is a first of three, so. Still yep. gonna be a couple more games, even if Isaiah's can manage to take this round. Okay, sweep Aubrey, I like it. Alright, Isaiah's is going really ham, doesn't want to give Hime any room. But she will DP you. Oh, that landmine! Okay, we blocked the cross. Yeah, it might be a bit, a bit, a bit of a hard character to, you know, go ham with in this matchup for sure. It's like he's doing their best to make it work though. Yeah, nice pressure here. Oof! Shield counter whipping, and you get instant overheaded. Enjoy, and now hold this. Oh, you could jump out of that, huh? All right, Isaiah. Uh, yeah, to it's it. not like you can block straight into it. So yeah. Yeah, again. So Isaiah is again calling out. He may just floating at the top of the screen with these jump A's. Oh, oh gets a over recovery the... on that win. Doesn't get the punish on it. Yeah, but the IH is in play. DP. What are you gonna do? We gotta get an arc drive in somehow. And oh, there that's, it is. that's how. That, that's not enough. That's enough though. <laughs> okay. Mavi, Mavi had the life lead. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty yeah, close. Scared of getting though. thrown, I guess. Yeah, I could have gotten chipped too for sure. Well, it, I don't think the immediate like I think I think it was jump up. That wasn't like the right call to make there, but you know. I'm not the I mean, one playing right now. Yeah, you have to make a decision. So, you know, For sure. it happens. Nice jump A. Doesn't quite get a conversion. Okay, he may dodging. Maybe we can kill her guard bar now. Eh, not really. Uh, it's still blue as the sky. You're not yeah. doing much for that. <laughs> oh man, there's so many instant overhead attempts. It's so scary. Right, Even if it doesn't do much when she can't confirm it, like it's so, it's it's not a good feeling to hang that. Oh man, tricky stuff. Wow, that two A just counter poking something. And again, Isaiah is just finding these jump C's, but weird scramble. 
Do I have time for our drive? Nope. It's 2C. Okay, we get the low air throw out key. Instant overhead doesn't get confirmed. Wow, we block it this time, but nope. Not able to punish it too far, it looked like. Slightly it is going to be pretty hard to make up if you don't get a Night H very soon. But we might get the IH. We do get the IH, and that's it. Oh, if you yeah. That was that wasn't gapless though. <laughs> there there might have been a way to hit Akio there. Yeah, but I, I think the life lead was enough that DP would yeah, like, not, not, not have taken it. I don't really understand the pillar in neutral because you're just allowing Akio to just do whatever she wants. Yeah. It's like very committal for what it can gain you to. Yeah, like just play footsies with her. She can't out footsie you, your Hime. I don't, she I don't can't see why jump you... in on you if you're like, you know, just taking your time playing reactive. She's taking a huge risk trying to do that. Yeah, I just gotta watch out for the DP if your Isaiah is at this point. When we get the hit, mm, not enough. One more down. Looking for the tech trap. I'm assuming. I think that's what that does. Yeah. It also beats, you know, most reversals because the the ribbons tay even if she gets hit for a bit. All right, so that's going to be three zero for Isaiah's. With the F, Akiha will be able to have a chance to run it back against Lord Bones Skeleton. The, the Lord of Bones. I I mean, I I just came up with that one. Yeah, it sounds terrible, right? <laughs> I've heard worse titles. I've heard worse titles. <laughs> okay, I've heard much better ones too. But <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that part. All right, so our grand finals is set. Thank you all for tuning in. For the last 2.5 hours, we got one more set for you all. It's been a pleasure it's being here with you all. It's been three hours, actually. So, I mean, look, Sango likes Lord Bones. <laughs> wow, <laughs> know, every, it all sounds kind of weird to me. I'll just keep calling him Skeletor. You know, copyright names work out fine in this. Sure. <laughs> I think what is great about this tournament is we've just been having a lot of fun. I've been laughing a lot. Yep, same. The the only toxic thing was Marissa. I'll say that. Like, I'm a big Marissa <laughs> fan. I will continue to be a Marissa fan. So, you know that that was painful. I'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as unconditional as it could have been. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, you know not everyone is, is flawless. You know, we we still love you despite your flaws. All right, it looks like Skeleton and Isaiah's are ready. We'll have Let's that match if... soon. Yep. See if they're scrapping as hard as they were uh, in the winners' finals. Yeah, that was just buttons being pressed a lot. I think the thing that Isaiah wants to do is make sure the round starts are not with like skeleton on top of you. Just like create some space, try to enforce your game plan. That's definitely what they should be looking to do, but it's not easier to come to one. Skeleton really... definitely is. Skeleton is very good at playing as that kind of playstyle too. Yeah, he loves. He's really good at round start in general. Like, getting away from him is not easy. Hmm. See, but like, that's my thing. So you're gonna go at Skeleton with ribbons and all this shit. Like, my, why not just play C Arc? Why are you playing the <laughs> F-Hockey? Yeah, like, she's like a mid-range dominant character, but you're just like trying to like, you know? 
All right, but we don't like half circles. I gotta play Sia. <laughs> True. All right, manage some bar, get the down. Chasing really hard against Skeleton. Skeleton is getting hit and counter hit at that. That was a really aggressive chase, and Skeleton just getting hit out of the tech counter hit. I'm expecting on, to get bro. chased that hard. This is our grand final. Come on, Skeleton, wake up. All right, 5A check. We got a little bit of an OTG. Yeah, Skeleton like uses that kind of movement to try to call out bad techs, but what happens if their opponent does a low tech like Isaiah's did there? Just end up losing the advantage. And sometimes right, you're just getting punished for it in Raw. Mm -hmm. Alright, Skeleton. Patient pressure, trying to sniff out something with those with that 5A base pressure. Zay does not bite. Nice jump A. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of like a little bit of a scrambly situation now. Isaiah's with the advantage, pressing it hard. That pit at high level. Oh, okay. Nice air dash confirm. Not quite, but uh oh. Now you're in the corner. Ribbon am I? That's how you feel? That's the, the Len. Our favorite <laughs> Akiha player from Mexico. Of course. A long time hero of Metal DNA. Still owes me. He made me break my PlayStation 3. Alright, let's go, Skeleton. What do you got for us? Command grab after the 5BB. Man, Isaiah is going for this high ribbon play, but Skeleton's just sniffing it out. Oh my god! Yeah, we whiff into EX. No, I'm not minus. I respect You're it. You're minus. It's silly, but you know, it's natural. Yeah. I mean, minus move into reversal is a tale as old as time. Alas, fighting games. Wrecka through shit. Shoutouts to Aces High. Yeah. And we had the the coma, the C coma air dash thing that isn't very strong. The air dash thing? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> so I myself got confused. I was like, huh? The air dash thing? Yeah, like the command air dash thing. Like, you almost never see oh, okay, it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the command air dash. There we go. The air dash thing? Listen, uh, fighting game terminology. I need a glossary. You know, it's just a move I for tend to, you know, forget he has. It's not very yeah. useful most of the time. Usually you only see, like, uh, H. Coma using it. It's more versatile one. Yeah, H. Coma is not way better. Alright, Skeleton gonna hit. Isaiah's looking for these, like, Abre, like, jump, jump Cs in Skeleton's pressure rather than just trying to escape the corner. Trying to, like, get aggression right out of defense instead of going back to a safe spot and then trying to get something established there. Alright, Skeleton maintaining this corner and OTG into kill. So now, Skeletor on the board. Lord of Bones. Yeah, you... You gotta hold that nickname forever now. I mean, he might like it. He might get a t-shirt. I'm the Lord of Bones, you know? Like, skeleton's kind of weird. He might like that. Sounds like something he'd put in his Twitter bio. <laughs> I'm the Lord of Bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Skeleton almost closing in on that with 2C. T2's pretty minus. It's very... Mean. Crazy, right? It's crazy neutral, but Isaiah's right there was the really nice jump A to call it out. And yeah, entire rounds have been over like twice in the span of the, like them, them getting their first real hit. Oh my god, we're whipping shield back and forth to each other and the F-Moon classic at the end to seal it. 
You gotta love when you do shield into I messed up my shield counter input. Ah, uh, yes. Guard break. Guard break off J2360. Yeah. So, also, no pinning in this first in this second round. Pretty strong round start. It's also an option skeleton likes out of air techs too. I mean it's it's invuln, so you know, back air tech. J2360, yeah. they can't do anything about it. Yeah, you deserve to get hit, honestly, if you get hit by it. You don't gotta chase tech so hard. Nice option there from Skeleton on the shield on the EX214. Uh, yeah, Zay actually accidentally taking the corner, doesn't get any pressure in this situation, just ends up getting hit. I feel like Isaiah's is just playing into Skeleton's game. Like, it's the pace is too fast. Yeah. Too scrappy. I feel like he's just like it. trying to play. They're just trying to play like regular air neutral against Skeleton. Like, I don't know. See, like that was a. It worked out in that situation, but I don't know. That was a super aggressive chase. I feel like Skeleton's gonna do that thing, you know, the air attack into the EX. But either way, you, we, we are jumping so much, Skeleton just air throws you. And that's how. Are that we switching happen. to Ryogi? We are, okay. Yeah, so the only problem... At the very last course. moment, Zay yeah. goes back to what is comfortable, it seems. So the big difference here is that Ryogi, the life differential is just really painful. The landing is pinned there. I'm not sure if it was pinned or if Isaiah just jumped again. Because it's F-Moon. Yeah, I, I don't... I, I think that just didn't block. Okay, good getting the knife again, but just throws it, tries to get the catch scout and not blocking low with T2B. Nice, so we got an air dash back into a whiff punish. Now we get to see some Mel, bro. That was a really good jump A, too, and we're holding this corner until you get dive kicked. That's another tale as old as time, in, at least for this tournament, we've seen Skeleton punishing people, thinking he's gonna land all day. Good dash under from Zay. Oh, catches the bunker and this should be the round. Spend bar, yep. Don't tell me. Okay. Alright, thank you for dying. Yeah, if Zay didn't do that regen round, it wouldn't have killed. Alright, so can Isaiah bring this whole thing back? What does the chat room think? Do you think he can do it? It's a pretty tall road to climb. Road? Uh, mountain. Whatever. But that was a <laughs> climbing a road. Yeah, again you know. the tech trap. Listen, you it just gets so much damage off of that. Put the ladder down horizontally and climb it. You know, spending all the meter. What the fuck, dude? He Air just throw did it, hold shield for like two seconds. Bro, he did super jump, land, held shield, and won. And this is grand finals. Sometimes just too, too much of someone has. Yeah, that last round was just defined by Isaiah's whipping that knife. He did land into knife. Skeleton was airborne and punished. But again, all right, your last chance to live, Isaiah's. What are you gonna show us? You're gonna show us that Efriogi's records are gonna die. The EX shield's crazy. Yeah, someone here has good records. <laughs> I won't say who. <laughs> Y'all guess, the, chat. The fist one. He's like Captain Falcon. He has fire. He's cool. <laughs> All right, what do we got, Isaiah? Again, can you live? Stay away from him. <laughs> Go, no, be gone. All right, nice dash no. under wrong button. Yeah, that's a safe spot to attack. Alright, at any point, Skeleton can mash something in your pressure. You gotta be really careful. Oh, that one he... Could've got punished. Alright, let's see if we can... Okay, no. That, that must have been a miss input our drive. Yeah, there's no way. And then some more weird stuff's happening. Flying air throw attempts. This is over. Oh, but... Or is it? Oh, it, it... If they like realize they got the hit and just actually right. went into two G six ender, but congratulations to Skeleton for winning. What did we say at the beginning about the level of play? This was fucking ridiculous. How are people playing like this? 
I love you, Scott. Like, we kind of retracted the statement for a bit, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you, like, do Everything think? I said in the beginning, I take back. We still play like maniacs. But, you know, shout outs to all of us. Yep. <laughs> Especially, you know, shout outs to Vivi, shout outs to me, and shout outs to Manabe. We're the coolest ones here. Yeah. You really want shout outs to me. <laughs> all right. Um, Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, appreciate. I'm echoing through your mic. That's terrible. Uh, Rotten Braid Matter and Radifuzz, thanks for running the bracket. Shout out to you guys and VV and JG. Good stuff today. And of course, Shib for deciding. You know, like people like Milky Blood, maybe we should run it. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had yeah, fun. Thank you for. Thank you for yeah. streaming it today. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pleasure shout working everyone, with you all. Shout out to Nack, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Neko Our Chaos for making us feel a certain way. Everyone <laughs> who participated, all of the viewers at home. Thank you for continuing to support. It really means a lot to us. Yeah, so I guess that's it for me. I will be signing out. Thank you all once again. I'll see y'all next time. All the rest of you, go watch Climax the Night this weekend. Yep. All right, yep. We're going to raid uh, Landon D, I guess. Watch some Tekken 7 if you want to. Goodbye, everyone. All righty. Peace. Okay. Good job. All right. Thanks a lot. I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all around. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, peace. It was really fun.